Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, Dragon Ball, God Level Plugin. Chapter 1. In the dim virgin forest, the sun shines through the dense leaves, leaving little spots of light, and the screams of beasts can be heard from time to time, startling the birds in the jungle. Buzz. Li Xu slowly opened his eyes, seeing this completely unfamiliar scene, he felt a little dazed in his heart. He is an authentic Dragon Ball fan. He has read the Dragon Ball anime and manga several times. When he has nothing to do, he plays the Dragon Ball game. He vaguely remembered that he was playing a new Dragon Ball game when he met a player who was cheating, and in a fit of rage, punched the computer screen. Immediately after that, he lost consciousness, and when he woke up again, he came here. Ding dong. The god level plug-in system is starting, 1%, 0.5%, 0.50%, 0.100%. The mechanical voice sounded in Li Xu's mind. Before Li Xu could react, the mechanical voice continued to sound. It is detected that the host has a novice gift package that has not yet been received. Do you want to receive it now? Li Xu made sure that he did not have hallucinations, and said without hesitation, get it. Ding dong. Receive a novice gift package, congratulations to the host for getting the primary automatic training plugin. Primary automatic training plugin. It can make the host in a state of on-hook training, and automatically increase a little combat power every day. The system explained. System, can you tell me where I am now? Li Xu didn't care about other things, so he figured out where he was first. Ding dong. The current world is the Dragon Ball world, and there are still 10 days before the plot begins. The system said. Dragon Ball world. Li Xu was very surprised. He didn't expect that he had traveled through it, and he also traveled to such a high-risk world. In the late stage of the Dragon Ball world, he would blow up the planet at every turn, and even destroy the entire universe. Although he likes Dragon Ball very much, he belongs to the kind of Dookie who likes dragons. Now that he is in the world of Dragon Ball, he is still very worried about his own life. System, can you send me back? Cannot. Does that make me invincible? Cannot. Then what are you doing? The system is called a god level plugin system, which allows the host to obtain plugins, said the system. HMPH, even if I die, I won't open it. It's really fragrant. Li Xu continued to ask, what plugins do you have? Bloodline plugin, physique plugin, perception plugin, automatic cultivation plugin. Bloodline plugin, normal Saiyan bloodline, the legendary super Saiyan bloodline, Ancient Saiyan Bloodline, Taiku Saiyan Bloodline, Saiyan Ancestor Bloodline. Physique Plugin, Broken Limb Regeneration Physique, Nuclear Regeneration Physique, Cell Regeneration Physique, Soul Regeneration Physique, Immortality and Immortality Physique. Comprehension Plugin, Primary Comprehension Plugin, Intermediate Comprehension Plugin, Advanced Comprehension Plugin, Top Comprehension Plugin, God Level Comprehension Plugin. Automatic Training Plugins, Primary Automatic Training Plugins, Intermediate Automatic Training Plugins, Advanced Automatic Training Plugins, Top Automatic Training Plugins, and God Level Automatic Training Plugins. System, how can I get these plugins? Li Xu looked at the powerful plugins, and his eyes were full of light. The system will randomly issue tasks, and the host needs to complete the task to get the reward plugin. Now the first task is released. Find 7 Dragon Balls, and the reward, Primary Perception Plugin. Primary Comprehension Plugin. Learn all 1 star moves in seconds. Which moves are 1 star moves? Li Xu asked. The Kamehameha Wave, Dongdongbo, Solar Flare, 4 Body Fist, 10,000 Kingdoms Shocking Palm, Demon Sealing Wave, etc. are all 1 star moves. The system said. Is it possible to learn 2 star moves in seconds with intermediate level savvy hacks? Li Xu asked. The host has no right to know at this time, the system said. All right. What's my current combat power? Li Xu asked. The host can view the personal information panel. Personal information panel. Name. Li Xu. Age. 18. Combat strength. 2. Possessed plugin. Primary automatic practice plugin, add a little combat power every day. It's only two points of combat power. Li Xu didn't think that he wasn't even a scumbag. A farmer with a gun only has 5 points of combat strength. 
Li Shu doesn't usually exercise much, and he has no weapons in his hands, so it is normal to have only two points of combat strength. This primary automatic training plugin is quite useful. When Son Goku first appeared, he only had 10 combat power. It only took 8 days for my combat power to catch up with Son Goku. In the early stage of Dragon Ball, a day's increase in combat power definitely counts. It's very unbelievable, Li Shu secretly said. Ow. Just when Li Shu was immersed in the power of the god level plug-in system, a roar of a tiger made Li Shu completely sober up. I'd better get out of here first. Although I didn't see the tiger, but according to the sound, I'm afraid it won't be too far from his current position. His current strength is not the opponent of the tiger. Finally out. Three days passed in a blink of an eye, and Li Shu finally walked out of the primeval forest. I have encountered beasts several times in the middle, but fortunately, there is an automatic training plug-in, and the combat power has improved a little, and escaped from the mouths of which beasts. He also saw the danger in the world of Dragon Ball, and seeing it on the screen is completely two concepts. Go find someone to find out the location of Bowsy Mountain. Although he walked out of the primeval forest, he was still in a barren area, and the surrounding area did not look like a place where people lived. Get out of the way. At this moment, a shout came from behind Li Shu, the voice of a woman. Bang! As soon as Li Shu turned his head, a car hit him. Under the impact of the car, Li Shu flew far away and fell to the ground, his whole body seemed to fall apart. It hurts. I hit someone. At this time, there was a girl in the car, and she said with some fear. Open the car door and walk carefully in the direction of Li Shu. Are you okay? Bulma. Li Shu recognized the girl at a glance when she saw her, with blue hair and a pink skirt, she was proud of her wealth at a young age. I'm fine. Li Shu stood up slowly and patted the dust on his body. He now also has 5 points of combat power, and his physical strength has improved a lot, but he only suffered some minor injuries. So handsome. Bulma's eyes were filled with red hearts and saliva was drooling, looking at Li Shu madly. What are you doing here as a girl? Li Shu asked pretending not to know. Bulma came back to his senses and realized that he was a little embarrassed just now, and said with a blushing face, I'm here to find one of these beads. Bulma took two dragon balls from his pocket. Dragon ball, what are you looking for? Li Shu pretended to be surprised. You know dragon ball. This time it was Bulma's turn to be surprised. Yeah. Li Shu nodded and continued, there are seven dragon balls in total. According to legend, as long as you find all seven, you can summon Shenron and make a wish come true. You know, this legend must be true. Bulma said happily. There are seven dragon balls in total, and you only have two now. It's not easy to find them all, Li Shu said. Hey, I made the dragon ball radar based on the special wavelength of the dragon ball, which can accurately determine the location of the dragon ball. Bulma said proudly, without worrying that Li Shu was a bad guy. Even so, it's not easy for a girl to find Dragon Ball. Li Shu shook his head. I see that you look very good, can you go with me to find Dragon Ball? I can pay you. Bulma asked expectantly. There's no need for the reward. I happen to be traveling everywhere, so let's go with you. Li Shu said, he had to go with Bulma in order to complete the mission. Great. Bulma said happily. This car can't be used anymore, do you have any other universal capsules? Li Shu said, Bulma's car was damaged just now, and he could only get a new one. Well, I have a spare car. Bulma nodded. Take out a box, which is full of all-purpose capsules, take out one, press it, throw it on the ground, and transform into a sports car. Then let's go. Li Shu took the driving position. From the situation just now, he was a little worried about Bulma's driving skills, so it would be better for him to drive. Dot dot dot. Following the instructions of the Dragon Ball radar, Li Shu and Bulma set off for the nearest Dragon Ball. The two were not in a hurry along the way, and regarded the journey to find Dragon Ball as a journey. After seven days, the two came to Bowsy Mountain. Li Shu was driving a sports car and saw a child with a crab head in front of the road and a large fish on his shoulders. Be careful Li Shu, there is someone ahead. Bulma exclaimed. Li Shu braked suddenly and stopped just in time when he was about to hit the child. Monster. The child took out a red stick on his back and watched the sports car vigilantly. Baga, you are the monster. 
Bulma said angrily, opened the door, and walked out. You monster, you can't even rob me of my fish, this is my prey. The child still looked at Bulma vigilantly, posing in a fighting posture. Don't get me wrong, we're not monsters. Li Shu got out of the car, and the kid in front of him was Sun Goku. Boom. Sun Goku kicked the sports car twice, the car alarm sounded twice, pointed at Li Shu and Bulma with a wish-fulfilling stick and said, and said you are not monsters. This is called a car, haven't you seen it before? We are all human, just like you. Li Shu said, knowing that Sun Goku has never been out of Baozi Mountain, and has never seen anyone other than his grandfather. Are you really not a monster? Sun Goku's vigilance dropped a little. Baga, they said we are not monsters. Bulma said with his hands on his hips, very unhappy. My name is Li Shu, her name is Bulma, nice to meet you. Li Shu laughed. My name is Sun Goku. Sun Goku said, Bulma, what a strange name. Boom. Sun Goku had just finished speaking when Bulma hammered him in the head. Why did you hit me, it hurts. Sun Goku looked at Bulma angrily. Baga, it's very impolite to say a girl's name like that. Bulma said angrily. Are you a girl? Grandpa said that you must be gentle with girls. Sun Goku said very politely, and didn't care about Bulma hitting him. What a weird kid. Bulma pouted. I just caught a fish, and I'll treat you to grilled fish, Sun Goku said, dragging the fish toward the place where he lived. Li Shu, there's nothing around here, it's not easy for us to find the Dragon Ball, Bulma said. According to the Dragon Ball radar, the Dragon Ball was nearby. Isn't there Sun Goku? Maybe he knows where Dragon Ball is. Li Shu laughed, chasing after Sun Goku in front, and Bulma immediately followed. I didn't expect there to be a house here. Arriving at Sun Goku's place, Bulma was a little surprised. Sun Goku, we're looking for such a bead, have you seen it? Bulma asked, taking out the Dragon Ball. Grandpa. Two grandpas. Sun Goku was surprised when he saw Dragon Ball. What grandpa? Bulma was puzzled. Grandpa has manifested. Sun Goku looked towards the table in the room and found that the four planets were still there, and a bright light was emitted, and he said happily. Dragon Ball. Bulma was very happy when he saw the four planets, and was about to reach for it, but Sun Goku took the lead. What are you doing? Even if you're a girl, I won't let you steal Grandpa. Sun Goku took the four planets in his hand and looked at Bulma angrily. Sun Goku, this is Dragon Ball, it's not your grandfather, you have four stars in it, so it's called four planets. Li Shu explained. One, two, three, four, there are really four stars. Sun Goku said in surprise. Dragon Ball has seven, and if you find all seven, you can summon Shenron and make a wish come true. Can you lend us the one in your hand? We will return it to you when we run out. Li Shu said. No, I will never let you take Grandpa away. Sun Goku said firmly. You are a martial artist, why don't you come with us to find Dragon Ball? You can meet many powerful opponents this way. Li Shu said. The rising sun has just emerged from the top of the mountain, and a sports car is driving fast on the vast plain. Li Shu, why do you want to bring such a brat with you? Bulma said angrily. The four planets are in his hands, so I can only take him with me. Li Shu smiled. Aren't you very good? Just grab the four planets. Bulma pouted, not wanting to bring a light bulb like Sun Goku. Don't think Sun Goku is small, he is not weak, I may not be his opponent. Li Shu said, his current combat power has reached 13 points, but he has no combat experience, and he may not be able to beat Sun. Goku. Is this little devil really that powerful? Bulma asked in disbelief. You'll know later. Li Shu smiled slightly. Stop for me. At this moment, there was a wolf-headed man standing in the middle of the road ahead, with a scar on his face and a machete in his hand, looking fierce. Li Shu braked the car and stopped. Li Shu, what should I do now? Bulma said in fear, holding Li Shu's arm, as if it would make him feel safer. Don't worry. Li Shu smiled confidently, such a small role, he has now ignored it. Li Shu pulled out his hand and got out of the car. He originally wanted to ask Sun Goku to do it, but thinking that he had never fought before, he planned to give himself a little more combat experience. Hurry up and hand over the money and the universal capsule, or I'll be rude. 
The wolf-headed man said viciously, waving the machete in his hand twice. Let's do it now, after the fight, I have to continue on my way. Li Shu pretended to say. Boy, since you don't know how to look, don't blame me. The wolf-headed man slashed at Li Shu, as if to cut Li Shu in half. However, he didn't look at the knife and was caught by Li Shu. The wolf-headed man tried hard to pull out the knife, but he didn't move, Li Shu still looked very relaxed. It's really boring, I'll leave it to Sun Goku to deal with it in the future. Li Shu pouted and said, such an opponent means nothing to him at all. Boom. After Li Shu finished speaking, he punched the wolf-headed man in the stomach. What? The wolf-headed man screamed, covered his stomach with his hands, and fell to the ground. Li Shu kicked him to the side of the road again, and then returned to the car. Li Shu, you are amazing. Bulma said with red eyes. Li Shu, your strength is so strong, can you fight me? Sun Goku said excitedly, his hands itch a little when he saw a formidable opponent. There will be opportunities in the future, so let's go now. Li Shu said. He also wanted to fight Sun Goku to increase his fighting experience. Dot dot dot. In the evening, I found a gentle area and stopped. Bulma takes out a house capsule, startling Sun Goku again. It's like daytime inside. Sun Goku said in surprise. There is bread and coffee here. You can eat some first. If you are not used to it, you can also go out to find something to eat. Li Shu said. He has also lived here for several days, and he is half the owner. No taste at all. Sun Goku took two bites of the bread and spit it out again. He doesn't like bread at all, and usually eats meat. So bitter. I took another sip of coffee and vomited as soon as I drank it. I'd better go find the food myself, Sun Goku said, walking out with a wish-fulfilling stick. What a troublesome kid. Bulma pouted, and then said to Li Shu, I went to take a shower first, I was sweating. Li Shu was alone, so he watched TV. After a while, Bulma came out of the shower, wearing very thin clothes, looming, making Li Shu's hormones a little restless. Bulma, do you have to be careful, even if I can hold back, Sun Goku will be back later. Li Shu said. After a few days of getting along, he also has some good feelings for Bulma and he doesn't want Bulma to be taken advantage of by Son Goku. Bulma heard the words, a blush appeared on his face, and ran back to the room, I'm back to the room. After a while, Son Goku returned with a wolf and a centipede. Li Shu, I found food, do you want to eat some? No, eat it yourself. Li Shu had eaten some bread and was full, he didn't have as much appetite as Saiyan. The night passed quietly. Early the next morning, as soon as the sky was white with fish belly, Sun Goku got up and started to practice. Li Shu was also woken up by Sun Goku getting up, and went outside with Sun Goku. Ah ho! Sun Goku held a stone in both hands and threw it into the sky with a forceful swing, then jumped up and smashed the stone with a punch. This is Sun Goku's way of training. Although it seems simple, it can exercise the strength of the waist and arms, as well as his explosive power. After landing, Sun Goku ran to another stone and repeated the action. Li Shu watched from the sidelines, not training with Sun Goku. He has an automatic training plug-in, and he can increase his combat power a little every day. Once he cultivates, the automatic training plug-in will stop, and if he works hard on his own, the daily increase in combat power may not be a little bit, and it is not as fast as hanging up. Gradually, the sun came out of the mountain. Ah! let me down. Son Goku mistook a turtle for a rock. What a big turtle. Son Goku said, setting the turtle down. It's not a turtle, it's a turtle. The turtle argued, as if the turtle were a little higher than the turtle. Turtle in the sea. Turtles are not turtles in the sea. The turtle said with a black line on his face. Shouldn't turtles be in the sea? Son Goku said. I'm just lost, can you buy me a bucket of salt water? Said the turtle. Of course. Son Goku nodded. Hey, what are you arguing about early in the morning, disturbing your sleep? At this time, Bulma came out of the room with a displeased look on his face, obviously still awake. Bulma, can you get me a bucket of salt water? Son Goku didn't seem to hear Bulma's complaint. Gollum, Gollum. Although Bulma was very upset, Son Goku woke her up early in the morning by practicing, but she still got a big bucket of salt water for the sea turtle. Can you send me back? 
I will repay you. After drinking a large bucket of salt water, the big turtle said pitifully. At his own speed, he didn't know how long it would take to reach the sea. No. Bulma refused without hesitation. Bulma, I took a look. There is a dragon ball in the sea. Let's send him back by the way. Li Shu said. Drip. Bulma took out the dragon ball radar and looked at it, and found that there was really a dragon ball there, and said, okay. Thank you. The sea turtle gave Li Shu a grateful glance. Let's go. Their location is about 100 kilometers away from the sea, and in less than two hours, they came to the sea. So big. Son Goku was shocked when he saw the sea for the first time. Wait for me here, I'll be right back. After the sea turtle entered the sea, he turned around and said, and then swam to the depths of the sea. It's so salty. Son Goku took a sip of sea water and spit it out again. Wait for him to come back, I don't know how long it will take. Bulma said angrily. Bulma, what wish are you looking for Dragon Ball for? Li Shu asked. I haven't made up my mind yet. Bulma said with a blushing face. She originally wanted to find a handsome boyfriend, but after meeting Li Shu, she didn't want to fulfill this wish. It's not in a hurry anyway, so let's take the process of finding Dragon Ball as a trip, isn't it interesting? Li Shu laughed. Yeah. Bulma nodded slightly and glanced at Li Shu secretly. About two hours later, the big turtle came back with an old man with a turtle shell on his back. I made you wait so long. Grandpa, who are you? Son Goku asked. My name is Master Roshi. Master Roshi said, and asked the turtle again, who rescued you? It was this little brother who gave me the salt water, and the young man promised to bring me back, said the big turtle. It's really hard for you. In return, I'll give you a gift. Master Roshi said to Son Goku and Li Shu. If you really want to repay, give me the bead around your neck. Li Shu said indifferently, his mind was not as pure as Son Goku's, and he definitely couldn't do somersaults. Dragon Ball. Bulma was surprised to see the Dragon Ball on Master Roshi's neck. Looking at the girl's reaction, this bead seems to be very important. Master Roshi thought to himself, and then said to Bulma with a sullen expression, you can also want this bead, you must let me. Boom. Before Master Roshi finished speaking, Li Shu kicked him in the face. Old man, you can't take advantage of Bulma. Li Shu said very upset, but he couldn't let Bulma take advantage of others. Young man, what a lot of strength. Master Roshi was a little surprised. From the kick just now, it shows that Li Shu's strength is good, but his strength is much higher than that of Li Shu. He took a kick from Li Shu, and nothing happened. Bulma looked at Li Shu with red heart on the side, thinking a lot in his heart narcissistically. Old man, if you don't want to give Dragon Ball, forget it. Li Shu said, it is impossible to snatch from Master Roshi, so it is better to retreat. Ahem, this bead is your reward for sending the turtle back. Master Roshi took the bead off his neck and gave it to Li Shu. Bulma, found another one. Li Shu gave the dragon ball to Bulma. Hem. Bulma put the dragon ball in the bag. Little brother, let me give you a present too. Master Roshi looked at Son Goku again. Gift. Come out, Phoenix. Master Roshi pointed at the sky with his cane and shouted, but no Phoenix came out. The Phoenix died of food poisoning last year, the big turtle reminded. Phoenixes die too. Bulma muttered. I wanted him to never die, so I named him Phoenix. Master Roshi said embarrassedly. Come out, Jintuyun. Da da da. There was a sound of a motor, and a yellow cloud flew in front of them. How do you eat this? Son Goku asked. You can't eat somersault clouds, Master Roshi shouted loudly. You can fly in the sky when you sit on the somersault clouds, but only people with six pure roots can sit on the somersault clouds. I'll show you how. Bang. Master Roshi jumped on the somersault cloud and hit the ground with one butt. Grandpa, it doesn't matter. Son Goku asked. It's okay. Master Roshi said awkwardly. I'll try. Son Goku jumped on the somersault cloud and didn't fall like Master Roshi, much to the surprise of Master Roshi, what a simple-minded kid. Oh ho oh, oh. Son Goku had a great time playing. After a while, Son Goku flew down from the sky. Thank you, Grandpa. Where did the wishbone behind you come from? Master Roshi noticed Son Goku's wishbone at this time. Grandpa gave it to me. Son Goku said truthfully. Is your grandpa's name Son Gohan? 
Master Roshi continued. Well, does grandpa know my grandpa? Son Gohan seems to have said that he picked up a child, and it should be this old now. Master Roshi thought to himself. I am your grandfather's master, teacher Wu Tian. Grandpa told me about you and asked me to learn martial arts from you in the future, but unfortunately grandpa was trampled to death by a monster. Son Goku said sadly. What a good seedling. Master Roshi sighed inwardly, not only with good martial arts qualifications, but also with a simple mind, and the idea of accepting apprentices has moved in his heart. Son Goku, how about taking me as your teacher? Master Roshi said. Grandpa said you were strong, but now I'm going to find Dragon Ball. Son Goku said with some embarrassment. You can wait until you find all the Dragon Balls and then learn the art. Master Roshi said, such a disciple with good aptitude and good personality, he didn't want to miss it. Great, Son Goku said happily. Master Roshi glanced in Li Shu's direction again, the meaning was obvious, and he also wanted to take Li Shu as his apprentice. Old man say, I know you are very powerful, but I have my own cultivation method. Li Shu said, he did not want to take Master Roshi as his teacher. Seeing Li Shu's rejection, Master Roshi felt a little pity, but didn't say anything. Bulma, Dragon Ball has been obtained, we should go. Li Shu said. Okay. Bulma took out a universal capsule, which was a motorcycle. Sun Goku has somersaulting clouds, so he no longer needs to take a car, and the motorcycle is just enough for two people. Come up. Li Shu smiled slightly, naturally he would not decide. Bulma's face blushed a little, and she sat in the back, holding Li Shu's waist. Three days later, Li Shu, as indicated by the Dragon Ball radar, Dragon Ball is in the village ahead. Bulma said. At the entrance of the village, Li Shu listened to the motorcycle, and Sun Goku also flew down from the sky. Why is there no one in this village? Bulma asked suspiciously. There are people, but they are hiding in the house, as if some enemy is coming. Li Shu said, even if he didn't know the original book, he could clearly feel the breath. Son Goku, you go find the way. Li Shu said, it is good. Son Goku happily walked to a house alone and knocked on the door, anyone. He shouted several times in a row, but still no one answered. Look at me. Son Goku broke a hole in the door with his hand and opened it. I'm in. Boom. As soon as he entered, an axe fell on Son Goku's head. Ah. It hurts. It's still useless. The man who hacked Son Goku was a middle-aged man, and he was a little desperate to see that Son Goku could not be killed. Why did you hit me? Son Goku said angrily. Master Oolong, I didn't do it on purpose. The middle-aged man hurriedly begged for mercy. Lord Oolong, I'm not Oolong. Son Goku said. Are you really not Lord Oolong? The middle-aged man said suspiciously. We are not an Oolong. Li Shu and Bulma walked in. Usually, Oolong came to the village alone. When he saw that there were three people in Li Shu and his group, the middle-aged man believed Li Shu's words and told Li Shu and his group about Oolong. One after another, all the other people in the village came over. Has any of you seen such a bead? Li Shu asked, taking out a dragon ball. He knew that there was a dragon ball in the hands of someone in the village. Is this what you're talking about? An old grandmother took out a dragon ball from her pocket. It's six planets. Bulma said happily. We will help you solve the Oolong matter. Can we use this dragon ball as a reward? Li Shu said, it could be solved peacefully, and he didn't want to use brute force. Are you going to deal with Lord Oolong? Said the middle-aged man earlier. We will definitely hit Oolong. Son Goku said firmly, with excitement in his eyes, feeling that Oolong was a formidable opponent. If you can defeat Oolong, there is no problem in giving you this bead but Oolong is very powerful, and it is not something that ordinary people can deal with. The old grandmother said worriedly. Don't worry, we naturally have our own way. Li Shu smiled. Okay then. All the people in the village hid again, and only Li Shu was left. Li Shu, according to the description of the people in the village, that Oolong seems to be very powerful, are you sure? Bulma asked worriedly. What the eyes see may not be true. Li Shu smiled mysteriously. About an hour later, a red pig-headed man came in, still wearing a white dress. Although he is older than me, his figure is really good. Oolong looked at Bulma with a squinty look. 
If you don't want to become a roast suckling pig, just put away your squinting eyes. Li Shu's eyes gleamed fiercely from the Three Kingdoms. Now that his relationship with Bulma is getting better and better, he naturally won't allow others to squinty like this. Squinting at Bulma. Son Goku, I'll leave this fat pig to you. Okay. Son Goku was very happy when he heard that he could fight. Haha, you actually want such a little devil to deal with me. Wulong laughed, but he was also very scared. Let's do it. Son Goku's feet were slightly apart, his face serious. I'm amazing. Wulong turns into a giant cow in an attempt to scare Son Goku. Isn't this little devil really going to do it? Wulong thought with a guilty conscience, while looking at the clock next to him, it was time for him to transform. Then I'll do it first. Son Goku saw that Wulong was slow to act, and took the initiative to attack. Run. Wulong turned around and ran outside the village. However, at this moment, Li Shu stopped in front of him and kicked him back. With a bang, Wulong turned into that little fat pig. How did it suddenly become like this? Son Goku said suspiciously. This is the way he is, he will only scare people, and he has no ability at all, Li Shu said. At this time, all the people in the village also ran out. They couldn't believe that the oolong that scared them was such a little fat pig. Oolong has been caught, can you give us the dragon ball? Li Shu said. The beads are here. The old lady immediately handed the dragon ball to Li Shu. Found another one. Bulma put the dragon ball away, very happy. After that, the people in the village brought back all the people who were caught by Wulong. Wulong did not abuse those people, and they all served delicious food. The sun was scorching hot, and the earth was like an oven. After the three of Li Shu left the village, they continued to look for the next dragon ball and came to a desert. Unlike the original book, they did not bring Wulong with them. Wulong is useless, Li Shu will not bring such a luscious little devil. Li Shu, why am I sweating so much and you are fine? Bulma said listlessly. That's the benefit of practicing martial arts. You can see Son Goku didn't sweat a bit. Li Shu laughed. Today, his combat power has risen to 20. I am starving. Son Goku was so hungry that he couldn't find any food in this desert. There is a shade in front of the stone, let's rest there first, Li Shu said. The car drove to the boulder, Bulma hid in the shade took out a pot of water, and drank it. The three rested for a while, and there was a lot of dust in front of them. Looks like someone's coming, Son Goku said. A pulley soon came into their field of vision, and on the car was a young man with a knife on his waist. I didn't expect to meet you. Li Shu secretly said that the young man was leaping. The trolley stopped not far from them, and leaping jumped off the trolley with pool standing on his shoulders. Who are you? Son Goku asked. I am Leping, the thief who dominates this desert. If you want to survive, hand over your money and the universal capsule. Leping said arrogantly. Son Goku, leave the opponent to me this time. Li Shu said. Every time he encountered a robber, he was handed over to Son Goku to deal with. This time, Leping was a little stronger than the previous ones. Li Shu wanted to increase his combat experience. Do you want to travel to heaven so much? Le Ping pulled out the long knife around his waist. It's a lot of talk, let's do it. Li Shu curled his lips in disdain. Le Ping was the most trashy of all Z fighters. In the later stage, he didn't even have a strong heart. Except, Le Ping slashed at Li Shu angrily, but in Li Shu's eyes, the speed of his knife was very slow, and he easily avoided it. Hurry up and use all your strength. Li Shu pouted. Hateful. Seeing that Li Shu looked down on him so much, Le Ping was completely enraged, and slashed at Li Shu again. This time Li Shu didn't hide, and two fingers clamped Le Ping's knife. Le Ping tried to pull out the knife, but the knife didn't move. Li Shu is getting stronger again. Sun Goku exclaimed. When Li Shu's fighting power was 15 points, Sun Goku and Li Shu had a match. At that time, although Sun Goku's fighting power was not as good as Li Shu's, he could still draw with Li Shu. Now that another few days have passed, Li Shu's fighting power has improved again compared to a few days ago, and Sun Goku feels that he is no longer Li Shu's opponent. Click. With a little effort from Li Shu, Le Ping's knife broke into two pieces. If you have any tricks, hurry up and use them. Li Shu said. Look at my wolf tooth wind fist. Leping ran towards Li Shu quickly, 
like a wolf, his punching speed increased a lot. Before, Leping's combat power was only about 8 points, but after using Langya Fengfangquan, he had about 12 points of combat power. Power. Gorgeous tricks. Li Shu curled his lips in disdain. This Long Fang Feng Fengquan was useful when his combat power was low, but when his strength improved, it would be useless at all. Boom. When Leping's fist was about to hit Li Shu, Li Shu came first and punched Leping in the stomach, directly knocking Leping out. Master Leping. Seeing this, Pool flew over immediately. Seeing that Le Ping was in a coma, he took Le Ping and left immediately, but Li Shu did not chase after him. Li Shu, your strength has improved again. Sun Goku said excitedly. You have to work hard, I don't want to find an opponent in the future. Li Shu smiled. I will practice hard. Sun Goku nodded seriously, not discouraged at all because he was behind Li Shu, but aroused his fighting spirit. This is what makes Sun Goku different from ordinary people. Li Shu nodded when he saw Sun Goku's appearance. Back under the boulder, Bulma was already asleep. I can fall asleep even in this situation. It seems that she is really exhausted. Li Shu secretly said. Sun Goku, it's getting late today. Let's take a day off here. You can go to the neighborhood and see if you can find anything to eat. Um, Sun Goku summoned Somersault Cloud and went out to find something to eat. Li Shu took out the house universal capsule, reported Bulma into it, and put it on the bed. The night passed quietly. Early the next morning, Bulma found Li Shu with a blushing face. Li Shu, did you carry me into the room yesterday? You were sleeping soundly. I couldn't bear to wake you up, so I hugged you in. Don't worry, I didn't do anything else. Li Shu smiled. I believe in you. Bulma was like a little woman, the exact opposite of her usual appearance. Let's go, we should be able to reach the fried bread mountain today. Li Shu saw Bulma's shy expression, and the corners of his mouth twitched slightly. Hem. Bulma nodded. The closer you get to the mountain of fried bread, the hotter it gets. It's like an oven. Bulma complained, wiping away sweat. The mountain of fried bread is actually a mountain of flames, and it's no different from an oven, Li Shu said. Then how can we get the dragon ball? Bulma said worriedly. Just put out the fire. Li Shu said casually, although he can't do it himself now, but he can ask Master Roshi for help and see Master Roshi's Kamehameha by the way. Li Shu and his party soon came to the bottom of the fried bread mountain, and the whole mountain was burning with roaring flames. Dragon Ball radar shows that Dragon Ball is in the castle on the hill. A fire like this can't be put out even with artificial rainfall, Bulma said. I'll go up and take a look at the somersault cloud. Sun Goku volunteered to sit on the somersault cloud and fly up. It's hot, it's hot. Just as he approached the castle, his tail was ignited by the flames and he jumped into a lake. Call out. At this moment, a flying axe flew towards Li Shu and Bulma. Li Shu sensed the danger and hugged Bulma to escape. Thank you. After Bulma came back to his senses, realizing that he was in Li Shu's arms, a blush appeared on his face. You hide to the side first, so as not to be affected by the battle. Li Shu put down Bulma and looked towards the direction where the giant axe was flying. There was a huge strong man with a pair of horn hats. Yeah, Bulma quickly ducked to the side when he saw the vicious look of the other party. Is this the Ox King? I didn't feel it when I watched the anime before. The combat power is at least 30. Li Shu secretly said, his current combat power is only a little over 20, and he has no combat experience. I am afraid to deal with Ox King. There are also some hardships. What are you doing here? Are you here to snatch my treasure? Ox King roared. Call first and then talk. Li Shu rarely encountered such an opponent, and seemed a little excited, and quickly attacked Ox King. Da da da. Li Shu ran fast around Ox King. With such a big body, Ox King is obviously a power player, and he must be lacking in speed. Ox King was a little dizzy when he was shaken by Li Shu, and Li Shu found a chance. It's now. Boom. Li Shu kicked Ox King's head, and Ox King's huge body fell to the ground. Great. Down. Seeing that Li Shu knocked Ox King to the ground, Bulma cheered for Li Shu, but Li Shu's expression did not relax, staring at the fallen Ox King. It hurts. Ox King got back on his feet, and Li Shu's kick didn't do him much damage. This defense is really terrifying. 
Li Shu sighed inwardly, it is not so easy to achieve Ox King. Boy, I didn't expect you to have some strength, but since you dare to snatch my treasure, I won't be merciful. Ox King said, wielding a big axe and slashing at Li Shu. Li Shu kept dodging, Ox King's strength was so strong, he really didn't dare to take it hard. At this time, Sun Goku flew back. Sun Goku, go and help Li Shu. Bulma said, worried for Li Shu's safety. This uncle is amazing, Sun Goku said excitedly after glancing at Ox King and Li Shu who were fighting. Kid, where did the somersault cloud standing under your feet come from? Ox King also noticed Sun Goku at this time, especially the somersault cloud under Sun Goku's feet. It was given to me by Grandpa Master Roshi. Sun Goku said truthfully. Master Roshi, is that Mr. Wu Tien? Do you know where Mr. Wu Tien lives? Ox King asked eagerly. Grandpa Master Roshi lives by the sea, Sun Goku said. Wow, that's great, I can finally learn castles. Ox King said overjoyedly. Little brother, is the stick on your back a wishful stick? Uncle, how did you know? This wish-fulfilling stick was given to me by my dead grandfather. Sun Goku said in surprise. Is your grandpa's name Sun Gohan? Um, what a surprise, I didn't expect you to be Sun Gohan's grandson. Ox King said happily. Uncle, do you know my grandpa? Son Goku asked. Of course I know. Teacher Wu Tien's number one disciple is your grandfather, and I'm the number two disciple of Teacher Wu Tien. Ox King said proudly. Can you help me borrow a banana fan from Teacher Wu Tien? I need to fan the flames on this mountain. Okay, but you're going to give me the Dragon Ball. Son Goku nodded. Dragon Ball. That's the kind of bead. Bulma took out a dragon ball. Oh, I've seen this kind of bead, I can give it to you. Ox King nodded, the dragon ball was of no use to him. Okay, then I'm off. Wait a minute, my daughter Chi Chi has already set off to find teacher Wu Tien. If you meet her on the road, you can take her with you, said Ox King. Chi Chi, look, this is her picture. Ox King took out a picture of Chi Chi. I didn't expect Ox King to give birth to such a lovely daughter. Bulma complained. I got to go, bye. About an hour later, Son Goku returned. He and Ox King's daughter sat in somersaulting clouds, and Master Roshi sat in the flying turtle. I've seen Teacher Wu Tien. Ox King hurried over. This is the mountain of fried bread, what a big fire. Said Master Roshi. Grandpa, do you have a way to put out the fire? Son Goku asked, and they didn't bring a banana fan during their trip. With such a small fire, I naturally have a way to deal with it. Master Roshi said easily. I saw Master Roshi took off his coat, and his shriveled body suddenly swelled up. Although Li Shu couldn't sense Chi yet, he felt a depression from Master Roshi's body. Are you going to use Kamehameha waves? Li Shu stared at Master Roshi tightly, for fear of missing a small detail. Turtle. Master Roshi's hands are calyx shaped and placed on the right waist. A little light shines from between the hands and gradually becomes larger. Group. The surrounding airflow became violent, and the light expanded into a ball of light. Gas. The momentum of Master Roshi rose further, and the ball of light had expanded to the size of a football. Achievement. The surrounding airflow turned into white arrogance, and the aura of Master Roshi rose to a peak. Wave. As soon as the voice fell, the palms pushed forward, and the energy ball was pushed out, like a flash flood. The energy ball was followed by a beam of light, like lightning in a thundercloud. Boom! The energy ball slammed into the mountain of fried bread with a bang, bursting with dazzling light, and then a mushroom cloud rose. So strong, the strong wind caused by the explosion made Li Shu's cheeks hurt. For the first time, he saw the power of Qi Blast. With his current strength, he couldn't emit key blast. After the light dissipated, the flame went out, and the mountain of fried bread was flattened. Is this really something a human can do? Bulma looked at the scene in disbelief. Found it. Li Shu found Dragon Ball in the ruins, seven planets. Bang. At this time, there was a sudden noise. After watching the Kamehameha wave performed by Master Roshi, Sun Goku tried it himself and dropped the wheel of the car. Son Goku's combat power is still very low right now, and his body's chi is not enough, otherwise he can really learn Kamehameha waves by watching it once, but this is also shocking. Baga, you broke the car, 
Let's wait and find Dragon Ball. Bulma tapped Son Goku's head with his fist. Still not as good as Grandpa Master Roshi's Kamehameha wave. Son Goku muttered, as if he hadn't heard Bulma. Bulma, Ox King should have a car universal capsule here. Li Shu laughed. I want to give you the car. Although it runs slower, it runs quite fast. Ox King laughed, the flame of the fried bread mountain was extinguished, and Ox King was in a good mood. Then we will leave and continue to look for the next Dragon Ball. Li Shu said. After a few people got into the car, Bulma checked the location of the last Dragon Ball, which was quite far in the west. Goku, be sure to marry me when you grow up. Chi Chi said. Marry what? Son Goku asked suspiciously. Hate, do you know that? Chi Chi said shyly. Marry if you want. Son Goku said casually, he didn't even know what it meant now. After leaving Fried Loaf Mountain, we continued to drive west for a few days. The location of the last Dragon Ball is only 100 kilometers away. I really want to see what Shenron looks like soon. Bulma said happily. Bulma, have you made a wish? Li Shu asked. I haven't made up my mind yet. Bulma said, and glanced at Li Shu secretly, looking a little shy. Why don't you give me this wish? If you have any wishes in the future, I will accompany you to find Dragon Ball. Li Shu said. I'll give you this wish if you need it, said Bulma, who had no other wish to fulfill. Call out. Just then, a missile was fired towards their car. Be careful. Li Shu jumped out of the car with Bulma in his arms. With a bang, the car was directly blown up by the missile. Are you alright? Li Shu asked Bulma in his arms after landing, and put Bulma down. It's okay. Bulma shook his head shyly. There's someone ahead. Son Goku said on the somersault cloud. Bulma, wait here. Li Shu said to Bulma and ran over immediately. After a while, he saw a robot. Li Shu knew that it was Pilav who was attacking them, and that the dog under Pilav was manipulating the robot. It's not that easy to steal Dragon Ball from me. Li Shu volleyed and kicked the robot to the ground, grabbing a shoe inside. Carrying Axiu, Li Shu returned to where Bulma was before. He was the one who attacked us, he should be trying to snatch our Dragon Ball. Li Shu threw Axiu on the ground. That last Dragon Ball must be in the hands of whoever robbed us of the Dragon Ball, Bulma said. Didn't we buy a car the day before yesterday? Let's hurry over now. Li Shu said, when he was passing through a town the day before yesterday, he bought a spare car to prevent the car from breaking down. Um. Bulma nodded took out an omnipotent capsule that was still on the ground, and turned into a car. Goku, follow us. After an hour, the three Li Shu came to a castle. Dragon Ball is in this castle, Bulma said. There should be a mechanism in this castle, we'll be careful later. Li Shu reminded, he knew that Pilav had arranged a lot of mechanisms in it. Yeah, Bulma nodded, with Li Shu by her side, she felt very secure. This door is heavy. Son Goku pushed the door open. The three walked inside, and suddenly a lot of bats flew over, startling Bulma. Continuing to walk inside, Son Goku suddenly stepped on something, a brick on the ground sunk into it, and the surrounding square pillars hit it directly. Be careful, the mechanism has been triggered. Li Shu interrupted the pillar while protecting Bulma. Bang bang bang. After a few times, the pillars were all broken. Li Shu looked around vigilantly, not paying any attention to Bulma's blushing face in his arms. There's no road ahead. As we walked, the road in front was blocked by the wall, and the road behind was also blocked. Haha, this is a trap carefully set by the king, hand over the dragon ball quickly. At this time, a TV screen on the wall suddenly lit up, and Pilav appeared on the screen, smiling very proudly. Who are you? Bulma asked. This king is King Pilav. You want to snatch our Dragon Ball. Bulma looked at Pilav very unhappily. Since you've come out, we'll save you from looking for it. Li Shu smiled. Boom. A punch hit the surrounding wall, directly breaking a hole in the wall. How is this possible? Pilav couldn't believe his eyes. Passing through the hole, it happened to be the room where Pilav was, and Xiao Wu was also inside. Found. Dragon Ball is here. Son Goku found Dragon Ball from a box on the table. That Dragon Ball is mine. Pilav said. You better get a good night's sleep. Li Shu slapped Pilav on the neck with a hand knife, knocking Pilav unconscious, and then glanced at Xiao Wu, who also fainted. 
Great, all seven Dragon Balls have been found. Bulma said happily. Ding dong. The task is completed, reward the primary comprehension plugin. The mechanical sound of the system sounded in Li Xu's mind, Li Xu was very excited, and finally another plugin was added. Let's go out and summon Shenron, let's make our wishes come true. Li Xu said. Walking out of the castle, Li Xu placed seven dragon balls on the ground. Come out, Shenron. The seven dragon balls flickered faintly, and a bolt of lightning rose from the ground and shot straight into the sky. Suddenly, lightning flashed and thundered, and the originally dim sky was completely darkened. Yan. A dragon roar resounded in the sky, and then a Shenron full of oriental elements appeared in the sky, with green skin and scarlet eyes, giving people a sense of sacred solemnity. Li Xu's heart was very shocked. Although he did not know how many times he had watched it on the screen, it was far from the reality he had personally experienced. Is this Shenron? Bulma hugged Li Xu's arm a little scared. Those who have collected seven dragon balls, tell me your wish, no matter what it is, I can fulfill it, but only one. Shenron said loudly and dignifiedly. I think Bulma has eternal youth. Li Xu said. He doesn't need Shenron to fulfill any wishes for the time being. If he needs to, he can still come to find Dragon Ball a year later. Anyway, with the improvement of his strength, it is not difficult for him to find Dragon Ball. It's a simple wish. A flash of light flashed in Shenron's scarlet eyes, and a strange force acted on Bulma's body, but for the time being, no effect could be seen. Okay, your wish has come true, goodbye. Shenron reincarnated into seven Dragon Balls and flew to all directions of the earth. After a long time, everyone came back to their senses. Li Xu, you. Bulma looked at Li Xu somewhat moved. I hope my girlfriend is always beautiful. Li Xu smiled. Who's your girlfriend? Bulma said with a blushing face, bowing her head, occasionally taking a peek at Li Xu from the corner of her eye. Then are you willing to be my girlfriend? Li Xu grabbed Bulma's little hand and said emotionally. I will. Bulma whispered, burying her head in Li Xu's arms, even more shy. Li Xu, Bulma, what are you doing? Son Goku asked innocently, destroying the original atmosphere in an instant. Li Xu and Bulma both looked at Son Goku with unhappy eyes, but knowing that Son Goku is this character, there is nothing to do. Son Goku, now that the wishing is over, where are you going next? Li Xu asked. I'm going to learn martial arts from Grandpa Master Roshi. After a year, the Dragon Ball has recovered, and then I'll go and find the four planets. Son Goku said seriously. About seven months from now, there will be the world's number. One martial arts conference. At that time, experts from all over the world will participate. I hope to have a good contest with you. Li Xu said. Are there so many great people? Son Goku's eyes gleamed. Well, but there are at most eight people who can enter the final. If you are not strong enough, you will be eliminated in the preliminary round. Li Xu nodded. I will definitely practice hard, and then I will have a good fight with you. Son Goku said seriously. Okay, see you at the world's no. One martial arts conference, Li Xu said, preparing to leave with Bulma. However, at this time, an accident occurred. Today's moon is so full. The moon appeared in the sky at an unknown time, and after Son Goku glanced at it twice, his eyes became blurred. Not good. Li Xu suddenly realized that something was wrong, and wanted to chop off Son Goku's tail before Son Goku turned into a gorilla, but unfortunately it was too late. Roar. Son Goku let out a roar similar to that of a beast, his body grew at a speed visible to the naked eye, his eyes became scarlet, and within a few breaths, he turned into a huge orangutan. Li Shu, what happened to Son Goku, how did he turn into a monster? Bulma asked. Son Goku is not a man from Earth, but Saiyan. Saiyan turns into a gorilla when he sees the full moon, and most Saiyans lose their minds when they turn into gorillas. Li Shu explained, while hold Bulma away from Son Goku. What now? Bulma asked anxiously. Don't worry, I'm here. Li Shu said. For some reason, when he heard Li Shu's words, Bulma's heart was completely relieved, and he nodded with a sense of security, yeah. Wait here. Running to a far place, Li Shu put Bulma down. Be careful yourself, Bulma said affectionately. I'll be fine. At this time, Son Goku's eyes had already noticed Li Shu's body, 
and he strode towards Li Shu, and Li Shu led Sun Goku to another direction. The combat power has increased tenfold. Although it is irrational, it is not so easy to deal with. Li Shu secretly said, thinking about how to cut off Sun Goku's tail. Roar. Sun Goku catches up to Li Shu and punches Li Shu. Li Shu realized the danger and jumped in a hurry, dodging Sun Goku's punch. Sun Goku's fist hit the ground, and a big hole was smashed into the ground. After Li Shu stabilized his body, he quickly ran behind Sun Goku and slashed towards Sun Goku's tail with a hand knife. However, at this time, Sun Goku turned around and punched Li Shu. Not good. Li Shu couldn't dodge in time and was kicked out. It hurts. At least several ribs are broken. Li Shu felt like his body was about to fall apart, and a trace of blood dripped from the corner of his mouth. But at this time, he must stand up and solve the trouble in front of him, otherwise he has no choice but to die. Seeing a stone next to him, Li Shu kicked the stone towards Sun Goku. Boom. Sun Goku put his arms in front of him, and although he was unconscious, his fighting instinct was still there. The stone fell on Sun Goku's arms and did no harm to Sun Goku, but at this time, Li Shu took the opportunity to run behind Sun Goku. Call out. I saw a flash of light, a tail fell to the ground, and Sun Goku's huge body slowly shrunk, and soon became its original appearance, and passed out in a coma. Li Shu, are you alright? Bulma ran over at this time and looked at Li Shu worriedly. Cough, it's fine, it will be fine after a few days of cultivation. Li Shu said. After a while, Sun Goku woke up, looked at the embarrassed environment around him, and asked suspiciously, Li Shu, what happened just now, why are you injured? A huge monster came just now, you were knocked out, and I was also injured. Li Shu said, without telling Sun Goku the truth. Oh. Sun Goku didn't doubt. Turtle. Li Shu's hands are calyx shaped and placed on the right waist, and a little light blooms in the palm of his hand. Group. The surrounding airflow became violent, as if it were boiling, and that little light gradually enlarged, forming an energy ball. Gas. The energy ball gradually became larger, and in a blink of an eye, it became the size of a football, radiating dazzling light. Achievement. Li Shu's momentum reached a peak, and the energy ball in his hand felt like it was ready to go. Wave. The palms were pushed forward, and the energy ball galloped forward like a wild horse running away followed by a long beam of light. Boom. The energy ball hit a boulder, and the boulder was smashed into a pile of rubble, causing billowing dust. Finally successful, it's not that the power is still much worse than Master Roshi's Kamehameha wave. Li Shu's face was filled with joy. It had been two months since Li Shu summoned Shenron. After separating from Sun Goku, Li Shu and Bulma returned to Bulma's home. With the primary comprehension plug-in, the scene of Master Roshi's Kamehameha wave reappeared in Li Shu's mind that day, but because of the lack of chi in Li Shu's body, Li Shu can only display Kamehameha wave today. Personal Information Panel Name Li Shu Age 18 Combat Strength 90 Possessed Plugins Primary Automatic Practice Plugin can automatically increase a bit of combat power every day. Primary Comprehension Plugin can learn one star moves in seconds. The Kamehameha wave has been successful, you can try the flying technique. Li Shu secretly said. Although he has never seen anyone who has performed the flying technique, as an authentic Dragon Ball fan, he is very clear about the plot of Sun Gohan teaching vital flying technique in the original book. Flying technique is not a difficult trick. After the combat effectiveness is improved, basically everyone can do it. Control your chi and offset your own gravity. Li Shu closed his eyes, slowly relaxed his body, and controlled the chi in his body. Li Shu's body slowly floated up. After he was able to control the chi in his body, flying technique was not difficult for him. The feeling of flying is really good. Li Shu looked at the ground under his feet and felt a little excited. See how Sun Goku is doing, and practice flying technique by the way. After the decision, Li Shu flew directly to the Guixian Island. During the flight, the flying technique became more and more proficient. Turtle Island. If you want me to teach you boxing, you still have the ability to push this rock. Master Roshi pointed at a boulder with his cane. How is this possible? There are so many stones that people can't push at all, Kling said. Who said it? 
Master Roshi gave Kling and Son Goku a demonstration to push the boulder. See, follow my curriculum, and one day, you will be able to push this stone like me, said Master Roshi. At this time, Son Goku walked over to a stone about the size of the stone that Master Roshi pushed just now, and pushed hard, the stone was pushed, which shocked the eyes of Master Roshi and Krillin. Grandpa, I succeeded, Son Goku said happily. Cough cough, that's too bad, how could I have mistaken the size of the rock, it should be this rock. Master Roshi ran to a rock several times larger than the previous one and said. Son Goku heard the words, ran to the stone and pushed it hard, but the stone remained motionless. There's no way, it doesn't move at all, Son Goku said exhausted. Let me try it. At this time, a voice came from the sky. Li Shu, why are you here? Son Goku said excitedly. Come and see how your cultivation is going, if your strength is too poor, then it will be meaningless. Li Shu smiled. Walking to the side of the boulder and pushing hard, the boulder was pushed. How is it possible that this kid's strength has improved so much? Master Roshi was very horrified. It's amazing. Son Goku looked very excited. Is this really something a human can do? Krillin was shocked and couldn't believe his eyes. Goku, you have to work hard. Li Shu stopped after pushing for a distance. He did this to give Son Goku some excitement, so that the worlds know. One martial arts conference would be interesting. I will practice harder. Son Goku nodded earnestly, full of fighting spirit. How did you fly in the sky just now? Krillin asked. This is called flying technique, and you can do it when your strength improves. Li Shu smiled. Senior old man, do you have any tricks, teach me a few. Li Shu looked at Master Roshi and said, Master Roshi's shocking palm and magic ceiling wave, he wanted to learn. To respect the old man know that. Master Roshi growled loudly. Come on, it's fine if you don't teach, see you at the world's no. One martial arts conference. Li Shu pouted, anyway, when Master Roshi uses it, he can learn it too, so there's no need to rush it for a while. After speaking, Li Shu flew away. Grandpa, please train us harder. Son Goku said seriously. Me too. Krillin followed suit. The difference between your current strength and Li Shu's is a bit big. Master Roshi said, regaining the appearance of a grandmaster, which is rarely serious. I will definitely surpass Li Shu. Son Goku said confidently. Okay, from today onwards, the training volume will be doubled. Master Roshi looked at Son Goku's firm eyes and nodded. After Li Shu left Guixian Island, he returned to Bulma's home, which is now his home. He didn't feel bad about eating soft rice. Li Shu, how can you fly? Bulma was very surprised to see Li Shu flying down from the sky. The trick I just learned. Li Shu smiled, holding Bulma's small hand. After two months, the relationship between the two became more and more intimate. Except for the last level, they basically did everything else. Amazing. Do you want to experience the feeling of flying in the sky? Li Shu said. Yeah. Bulma nodded like a chicken pecking at rice. In the blink of an eye, another five months have passed. The 21st world number. One martial arts conference is finally about to begin. Li Shu brought Bulma to the competition site the day before the start of the conference. The site was already crowded with people. Although there were only more than 100 people participating in the competition, there were many people who came to watch the competition. So many people, Bulma said. Son Goku and the others are here too. Li Shu laughed, seeing Master Roshi, Son Goku and others in the crowd. Li Shu, I didn't expect you to be earlier than us. Son Goku also saw Li Shu and Bulma, and ran over immediately. Goku, you are much stronger now than you were a few months ago. Li Shu laughed. Well, for this martial arts conference, I asked my grandfather to arrange very hard training for me. Son Goku nodded, looking forward to fighting Li Shu. Let's go to register first, the official competition will not start until tomorrow. Li Shu said. Um, ding dong, announce mission, win the championship of the 21st world's number. One martial arts conference, reward, ordinary Saiyan bloodline plug-in. At this moment, the mechanical voice of the system sounded in Li Shu's mind. It's really a fool, why didn't you release it earlier? Li Shu secretly complained, knowing that the system would release the task, he would not try to motivate Son Goku. 
it would be much easier to win the championship. But it's too late to say these things, the reward of the task is still very attractive, Li Xu must win the championship. After signing up, Li Xu, Sun Goku and others separated and returned to the hotel with Bulma, but the two still did not break through the last line of defense. After a night of silence, Li Xu and Bulma came to the game the next morning. Li Xu, you must win. Don't worry, you have to believe in your man's strength, and you will definitely get the championship back. Li Xu smiled. Hearing this, Bulma's face turned red. Okay, I'm going to enter the lottery. Li Xu saw that Bulma was so shy, so he didn't tease Bulma anymore, and went in for the lottery in the preliminary round. In the arena, there are players from all over the world. There are really all kinds of people, werewolves, tiger-headed people, strong men like mountains, etc., but there are not many real masters. Li Xu, what number did you draw? Sun Goku and Kling ran over and asked. Number one, Li Xu gestured for the sign in his hand. It's great, so that the three of us don't have to meet before the final. Kling said, he had seen Li Xu's strength, and he didn't have the confidence to fight Li Xu. See you in the final then. Li Xu smiled. I didn't expect him to come too. Li Xu turned his head and saw a familiar person, it was Le Ping. He didn't expect that he would come to participate in this competition just like in the original book. Leping also noticed that Li Xu and Sun Goku were gone and came over. Hello, I lost to you last time, but this time I did a very hard training and will definitely defeat you. Le Ping said, looking confident. You'd better make it to the final first. Li Xu said casually, now that Bulma has nothing to do with Leping, he doesn't need to take Leping in his eyes. Contestant number one, please come to the stage to compete. At this time, the host's voice came over. I'm going to the competition first. Li Xu said, walking directly into the ring. It's really unfortunate that this is a young man. He actually met King Chopper in the first game. As soon as Li Xu took the stage, he heard the people below talking. Goku, is this King Chopper very powerful? Krillin asked Son Goku in a low voice. I don't know, but I feel like he's not Li Xu's match, Son Goku said. Young man, although it is cruel to be eliminated as soon as you play, failure is also a kind of experience for you. King Chopper said in the tone of his predecessors. You better hurry up, Li Xu said casually. Although King Chopper is a little more powerful than others, in his eyes, he is no different from others. Then I'm welcome. Seeing Li Xu's arrogant attitude, King Chopper was slightly angry. I saw him attacking Li Xu quickly, but when he came to Li Xu's position, he found that Li Xu was gone, turned his head and looked left and right. Where? So fast. Sun Goku said in surprise. At this time, Li Xu was standing behind King Chopper and did not attack King Chopper. Hurry up and use your unique skills, so that you can convince yourself that you lose. Li Xu said. When King Chopper heard Li Xu's voice coming from behind, he turned back in horror, and was very horrified. He didn't even know when Li Xu came to his back. Young man, it seems that I underestimate you. Next, I'm going to use the eight-handed fist. You have to be careful. King Chopper said. King Choba is finally going to use his unique move. It is said that King Choba's eight-handed fist is so fast that it looks like eight hands, so it is called eight-handed fist. Someone below said excitedly. King Choba gathered up his momentum and attacked Li Xu, punching much faster. However, just when Chopper's fist was about to hit Li Xu, Chopper's movement stopped abruptly, and Li Xu punched him in the stomach, causing him to lose the ability to move due to the severe pain. Thump. King Chopper fell to the ground and passed out in a coma. The host came back to his senses after a long time and announced loudly, contestant number one wins. Goku, did you see Li Xu's movements clearly? Keelan asked, he didn't see how Li Xu did it at all just now. Yeah, but Li Xu hasn't used all his strength yet. Sun Goku nodded with excitement in his eyes. It's amazing. Krillin swallowed. After Li Xu jumped off the ring, he walked towards Sun Goku and the others. Li Xu, I really want to have a fight with you soon. Sun Goku said with full of fighting intent. Don't let me down when you get there. Li Xu smiled, appreciating Sun Goku's character who likes to challenge powerful opponents. Both of you are monsters. Keelan complained, knowing that he was still far from Li Xu and Sun Goku. Krin, you're amazing too, Sun Goku said. 
Don't think so much, prepare for the next game. Li Xu said. In the next game, Li Xu basically eliminated his opponent with one move, and Sun Goku's situation was similar. After all, the people they met were still far from their strength. Krillin was a little unconfident at the beginning, but after playing a few games, he was confident enough to solve his opponent with one or two moves. The preliminary round will end soon, and the list of the top eight is out. They are Li Xu vs. Leping, Jackie Chan vs. K. Lin, Sun Goku vs. Lan Fang, Nanwu vs. Barbarian. It is similar to the situation in the original book, except that there is one more Li Xu, one less monster Karain, and the order of appearances is also somewhat different. Li Xu, you're amazing, you made it to the quarterfinals so easily. Bulma said proudly when she saw Li Xu come out. She already knew from the broadcast that Li Xu had entered the quarterfinals. It's not good enough to be my Bulma. Li Xu laughed, holding Bulma in his arms, making Bulma both shy and sweet in his heart. Li Xu, I made a martial arts uniform for you. Bulma said, after seeing that Sun Goku and Kei Lin both have martial arts uniforms, Bulma helped Li Xu also ordered one. Bulma's custom-made martial arts uniform for Li Xu is bright red, similar in style to the martial arts uniform of Guixian Liu, with the word, martial, on the chest and back. Like it? Bulma asked expectantly. Of course I like it. Li Xu said with a smile, the martial arts uniform is indeed more suitable for play. The finals of the 21st world's number. One martial arts tournament are about to begin, and the first match between Li Xu and Leping is the first. Let's invite players Li Xu and Leping to play. The host announced loudly. Li Xu, I finally met, and now I can show you the results of my practice during this period of time. Leping said confidently, he has nothing to do with Li Xu and Sun Goku now, and has no idea of their strengths. You better hurry up, the enemy I have defeated has no chance of surpassing me. Li Xu said casually, Leping's strength is far worse than his, and the distance will get bigger and bigger. Li Xu, come on. Bulma cheered on Li Xu below. Goku, how is this Leping's strength? Kling asked, and the two climbed on the wall to watch the game. He is no match for Li Xu, Sun Goku said. I think he seems to be quite powerful, Kling said. Da da da. On the ring, Leping quickly attacked. However, in Li Xu's eyes, his movements were very slow and full of flaws. Boom. Li Xu didn't make much movement. When Leping came to him, he punched Leping in the stomach. Leping's movements stopped abruptly, his hands covered his stomach, and the bitter water was about to be spit out. I really can't see how he cultivated. Master Roshi in the backstage was very shocked. He found that Li Xu was much stronger than the last time we met. Li Xu, great job. Bulma cheered Li Xu happily when he saw that Li Xu hit Leping. Li Xu did not attack Leping, but gave Leping a chance. Use all your strength, so that you will be convinced of the defeat. Li Xu said calmly, not taking Leping in his eyes at all. Hateful. After Le Ping came over, he was very angry at Li Xu's words. Lang Ya Feng Feng Quan. Le Ping rushed towards Li Xu like a wolf. Don't you have any tricks? Just let you be defeated by your own tricks. Li Xu shook his head. Lang Ya Feng Feng Quan. Li Xu also used the wolf Fang Feng Feng Quan, which was much faster than Le Ping's. Bang bang bang. The fists as dense as raindrops hit Le Ping on the body. Leping is like a human flesh bag, and he has no resistance at all. Bang. In the end, Leping was knocked out of the ring and fell to the ground. Why do you know Lang Yafeng Feng Quan? Leping asked in shock. Such a simple trick can't be learned at a glance. Li Xu pretended to say, this kind of useless trick, he really didn't want to learn much. When Leping heard Li Xu's words, he fainted completely, leaving a huge psychological shadow. After cultivating hard for so long, he was defeated by Li Xu like this, and his favorite Lang Ya Feng Feng Quan was learned by the opponent at a glance. Master Leping. Pool saw Leping fainted, so he flew over and took Leping away. Competitor Li Xu wins. The host announced loudly, the whole game ended too quickly, he didn't have time to explain, and he only recovered after knowing that Le Ping was taken away. After Li Xu won, he jumped to Bulma's side. Li Xu, you are really amazing. Bulma said excitedly, as if he had won the game. Then should you give me a reward tonight? Li Xu's mouth curled into a charming smile. Not yet. 
Bulma said shyly, and at the same time was a little afraid that Li Shu would get angry. Li Shu whispered a few words in Bulma's ear. Bulma's face blushed like an apple after listening to it, but he still nodded. Yeah. The game continues. The second game is Master Roshi vs. Krillin. Now Krillin is still a lot worse than Master Roshi and lost to Master Roshi. In the third game, Lanfang tempted Son Goku, but Son Goku didn't understand this at all, so he easily knocked Lanfang out of the ring and won the game. In the fourth game, Nanwu defeated the Barbarian. The Barbarian only smelled a little bit. In fact, his combat power was not very high. As long as he could endure the stench on his body, it would not be difficult to defeat him. After the quarterfinals, it was getting dark, and today's game is over, and the semi-finals and finals will not start until tomorrow. After Li Shu and Bulma returned to the hotel, the two still did not break through the last step, but Li Shu ecstasy in a different way. After the incident was over, seeing Bulma's blushing face and a hint of milky white liquid on the corner of his mouth, Li Shu smiled with satisfaction. Embracing each other and sleeping, the night passed quietly. The next morning, Li Shu and Bulma came to the game again. Today, Li Shu is still in the first game, and his opponent is Jackie Chan, that is, Master Roshi. Li Shu still has some expectations for this game. Although Master Roshi's combat power is weaker than Li Shu's, his rich combat experience is worth learning from Li Shu, and moves like Mo Fengbo and Wang Guo's shaking palm are also very good. Especially the Magic Seal Wave, this move is the best to use against opponents with the ability to regenerate, but Master Roshi probably won't use this move in the game. Li Shu, come on. Bulma said. After winning, is there another reward tonight? Li Shu said with a playful smile. As soon as Bulma heard Li Shu's words, she remembered what happened last night, her face suddenly turned red, and she glanced at Li Shu with anger. Li Shu especially likes Bulma to show the side of this little woman. Okay, I won't tease you anymore. Li Shu smiled. Let's invite players Li Shu and Jackie Chan to appear. The host announced loudly. Li Shu and Master Roshi both jumped into the ring. Old man say, you have to show some strength, don't let me down. Li Shu smiled. I didn't expect you to recognize my identity early in the morning. You are the best martial artist I have ever seen. Even Son Goku can't compare to you. I hope you can always maintain a martial arts heart. Master Roshi is serious said. Che, you better hurry up and have a good fight with me, let me see how powerful the god of martial arts has. Li Shu said, he dislikes other people's lectures the most. It is good. Master Roshi straddles his feet and takes a fighting stance with his hands. Li Shu still stood there without any movement. Da da da. Master Roshi took the lead in launching the attack, instead of attacking Li Shu directly, he ran around Li Shu quickly for a few laps, leaving a few afterimages. Wow, there are a few Jackie Chan players in the ring, what's going on? The host shouted in a surprised tone, which immediately aroused the atmosphere of the scene. As a host, he is very good and dedicated, even lazy Li Shu admires his spirit. After image fist, Li Shu's mouth twitched slightly. Whoosh, Li Shu suddenly kicked at one of them, but it passed through his body, and it was obvious that the kick was an afterimage. Good chance. Seeing this, Master Roshi's eyes lit up, and a hand knife hit Li Shu's neck. However, what he didn't expect was that his blow also passed through Li Shu's body, which was just an afterimage of Li Shu, and he realized that it was not good. At this moment, Li Shu appeared behind Master Roshi and kicked him. Master Roshi turned his head suddenly, but it was too late, Li Shu kicked him on the body, and with a bang, Master Roshi flew out. In the eyes of Master Roshi about to fall out of the ring, Master Roshi sent a Kamehameha wave towards the ground, and with this reaction force, returned to the ring. You actually have an afterimage fist. Master Roshi said in surprise. Such a move can be learned at a glance. Li Shu laughed, secretly thinking in his heart that the basic comprehension plugin is really against the sky, such a simple move can really be learned at a glance. Hearing what Li Shu said, Master Roshi was even more horrified. The afterimage boxing he had just learned could actually fool him. Li Shu's talent was far beyond his imagination. Li Shu is amazing, he learned this trick so quickly. Kei Lin said in surprise, he was defeated by this trick yesterday. Li Shu hasn't done his best yet. Sun Goku said solemnly, and his strength, 
Piccolo Lin Gao, can be seen more clearly. Li Shu, come on. Bulma kept cheering for Li Shu, not caring about Yi Yang's eyes at all. Old man, let me show you another trick. Li Shu smiled slightly, his hands in the shape of calyx, placed on his right waist. This action. Master Roshi saw Li Shu's action with a horrified expression on his face. What is Li Shu doing? Kling asked Sun Goku. Kamehameha wave, I didn't expect Li Shu to learn this trick too, that old grandpa also used this trick just now. Sun Goku said. The Kamehameha wave, a little light magnified in Li Shu's palms, and in an instant it was the size of a football. With Li Shu's loud shout, the energy ball was pushed out. Master Roshi also sent out a Kamehameha wave, and the two collided in the middle, bursting with dazzling light. After the light dissipated, everything returned to calm, Li Shu and Master Roshi were still standing in the ring, as if nothing had happened. There was a smile on Li Shu's mouth. He deliberately kept his fighting power at the same level as Master Roshi, and the two Kamehameha waves cancelled each other out, indicating that his achievement in Kamehameha waves was no less than that of the founder of Master Roshi. Old man say, if you have any tricks, hurry up and use them. This strength can't beat me. Li Shu smiled. I have only met one person in my life who can force me to use this trick. You are the second person, but with your strength, there should be no danger to life. Master Roshi said solemnly. Come on then. Li Shu said, he knew that Master Roshi was going to use the shocking palm of the nations, and he also wanted to see what was going on with this move. Master Roshi folded his palms together, and the surrounding air became violent. The palms were separated, and thunder and lightning radiated from the hands. Look at my shocking palm of all nations. Master Roshi pushed forward with both palms, and thunder and lightning enveloped Li Shu. What? Li Shu let out a scream, and the high voltage lightning caused him severe pain and completely restrained his movements. If you can't stand it, surrender quickly, or your life may be in danger, said Master Roshi. Li Shu. Bulma looked at Li Shu worriedly from the stage, and wanted to rush to the stage. I'm not that easy to beat. Li Shu laughed. Break it for me. Li Shu condensed his aura and shouted, a terrifying aura burst out instantly, and immediately broke free from the shackles of the heaven-shaking palm of the world. How is this possible? Master Roshi couldn't believe his eyes, he was extremely confident in this trick of his own. Ionizing the air with one's own chi to generate a high voltage electric charge is indeed a good trick. Li Shu said, he has fully understood the principle of the shocking palm of the nations. The shocking palm of the nations. Li Shu did the same action as Master Roshi just now, and the high voltage electric charge enveloped Master Roshi. What? Master Roshi was shocked and did not react, and the pain in his body made him fully awake. Old man say, don't die, or I'll be disqualified from the competition. Li Shu said, testing the power of Myriad Kingdom's shocking palm. This move still has a lot of room for development. Lightning energy is much more violent than Qi, and its destructive power is naturally much stronger. What? Master Roshi tried to break free, but he didn't have the strength of Li Shu. After a while, he fainted completely, and Li Shu put him on the ground. The host came over to check, and found that Master Roshi just passed out, not dead, and announced loudly, contestant Li Shu wins. It's amazing, such a trick can be learned in an instant. Krillin exclaimed. I really want to go up and have a fight with him. Son Goku is very excited and can't wait to fight Li Shu. It's young people's world now. After Master Roshi woke up and felt old for the first time, the age of the god of martial arts was almost over. In the second game of the semi-finals, Sun Goku played against Nan Wu. Nan Wu's fighting power was only about 50 points. He encountered a Sun Goku who was stronger than the original, and he was defeated soon after. However, Master Roshi is still the same as in the original work, he solved the problem of water resources for Nan Wu, so that Nan Wu is very grateful to Master Roshi. The semi-finals are over and the finals are finally about to begin. Everyone is looking forward to this match, including Li Shu and Sun Goku himself. Let's invite players Li Shu and Sun Goku to compete on the stage to compete for the final championship. The host said loudly, and the atmosphere of the scene was instantly mobilized. Li Shu, I can finally fight with you. Sun Goku said excitedly, he had been looking forward to it for a long time. 
Let me see the results of your cultivation in the past few months. Li Shu said, he also wanted to see how Sun Goku has grown under his inspiration. It will surprise you, Sun Goku said confidently. Call out. Li Shu took the initiative to attack, moved quickly towards Sun Goku, came to Sun Goku in the blink of an eye, and punched Sun Goku in the stomach. There was a smile on Sun Goku's face, and Li Shu's fist went straight through his body. It's this trick again. The figure of Sun Goku appeared behind Li Shu, grimacing, and kicked Li Shu in the air. However, he also kicked empty, and what remained in place was an afterimage. Behind you, Li Shu's voice sounded behind Sun Goku, and he kicked it. Unexpectedly, Li Shu's attack was missed again, and the Sun Goku was still an afterimage in front of him. Multiple afterimage fist, Master Roshi said in surprise. He didn't expect Sun Goku to also learn this trick from him, and he was better than Blue. Hey hey. Sun Goku smiled smugly and appeared behind Li Shu and above him, clasped his fists with both hands, and slammed it down hard at Li Shu. The corners of Li Shu's mouth twitched slightly, as if it was long overdue. Oops. Sun Goku realized something was wrong after he shot, but it was too late. Li Shu appeared behind him and a whip kick kicked him to the ground. Bang. Sun Goku slammed into the ring, and the ring was smashed into a small hole. Li Shu fell from the air, stopped attacking Sun Goku, stopped the host from counting, and said, Get up, this attack can't hurt you. Hey, but it really hurts. Sun Goku stood up and rubbed his head. Show your real skills, this kind of trick won't work for me. Li Shu said, he had no intention of continuing to play with Sun Goku like this. Okay, I'm going to use all my strength next. Sun Goku said seriously. Bring it on. Call out. Call out. The figures of the two disappeared from the ring at the same time, and then they heard a bang 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 bang. So fast. Master Roshi's eyes rolled from side to side, but only a trace of afterimage could be seen. It's really two monsters. Krillin said a little dejectedly. You're the monster. Bulma tapped Krillin on the head, not allowing anyone to say that to Li Shu. Both of them are top martial artists, and I don't know who will win the championship in the end, said Master Roshi, who found that Sun Goku had also surpassed him before he knew it. Of course Li Shu will win the championship, Bulma said. On the ring, the two figures appeared at the same time, and the original collision turned into a wrestling. What? Li Shu yelled and threw Sun Goku out of the ring. Oops. When Master Roshi saw Sun Goku's landing, he was a little worried about Sun Goku, but just as Sun Goku was about to land, Sun Goku's body suddenly stopped. Flying technique, I didn't expect you to learn it so quickly. Li Shu was also a little surprised. He didn't expect that he only showed the flying technique once to Sun Goku, and Sun Goku actually learned it. You must know that in the original book, Sun Goku hadn't learned flying when he participated in the next world's number. One martial arts conference. Technique. Hee <laughs> hee. Sun Goku smiled proudly and flew back to the ring. Sun Goku player actually flew in the air, it's incredible. The host shouted, not knowing if he was really shocked, or just to arouse the atmosphere of the scene. Goku, I'm going to use all my strength next. Li Shu said. After some testing, he roughly knew Sun Goku's strength, about 180 points of combat power, much higher than in the original book. His little butterfly has begun to flap its wings. Come on, Sun Goku said solemnly. Call out. Li Shu's figure disappeared on the spot, moving quickly while approaching Sun Goku. Sun Goku's eyes kept shaking, looking for Li Shu. Li Shu hasn't used his full strength yet, it seems that Sun Goku is going to lose. Master Roshi said in surprise, he thought the previous Li Shu had used his full strength. Is it possible that Goku still has hidden strength? Kling asked. He has a much better relationship with Sun Goku than with Li Shu, and naturally expects Sun Goku to win. Sun Goku has used his full force. Master Roshi said. Boom. In the ring, Li Shu suddenly appeared in front of Sun Goku, punched Sun Goku into the sky, and then quickly caught up with Sun Goku. Bang bang bang. A machine gun-like fist hit Sun Goku, Sun Goku was unable to fight back, and finally kicked Sun Goku to the ground with a sweeping leg. Bang. The ring was smashed into a hole, and the broken stone buried half of Sun Goku's body. Can you count? Li Shu fell to the ground and said to the host. Okay, 
One, two, three. The host ran to Son Goku and counted aloud. Goku, get up. Kling cheered Son Goku off the ring. Alas, even standing up, it's too difficult to defeat Li Shu. Master Roshi sighed. Four, five, six. The host continued to count, and the audience's eyes were all focused on Son Goku. Cough, cough. Son Goku stood up with difficulty, his clothes were tattered, and there was a trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. Son Goku players are back on their feet, and the game continues. The host announced loudly, walking off the ring, leaving the venue for Li Shu and Son Goku. This will is really not to be underestimated. Li Shu secretly said. The outcome of a battle is not only related to the combat effectiveness of the two people, but there are many other factors that can affect the outcome of the battle. Willpower is one of them. For example, if the enemy punches you, if you have strong willpower, you can endure the pain to fight back against the opponent, but if your willpower is not strong, the severe pain will prevent you from concentrating your chi to fight back. Li Shu, you are stronger than I thought. Sun Goku said, not at all discouraged, but even more intense. Your strength really surprised me. Li Shu said. In the original book, Sun Goku only had 180 points of combat power when he participated in the 22nd world number. One martial arts conference, and now there are still three years before that time. Sun Goku's improvement is indeed somewhat unexpected by Li Shu. I still have one last move. If you can make the next move, I will really admit defeat. Sun Goku smiled wryly. After Son Goku finished speaking, his hands were calyx-like and placed on his right waist. I didn't expect Son Goku to learn this trick too. Master Roshi was a little surprised, he didn't teach Son Goku Kamehameha wave, only Son Goku learned it by himself after watching Master Roshi perform it. Never confront the Sun family, I'm going to try today. Li Shu thought to himself. In the original book, no one with the Sun family has ever won against Bo. Today, Li Shu himself doesn't believe in this evil, and he did the same thing as Son Goku. A little light bloomed in both palms, and the momentum of both of them continued to rise. Kamehameha wave, by two inches, the two of them shouted at the same time, and pushed their hands forward. An energy ball rushed out like lightning in a thundercloud, followed by a long beam of light. The two energy balls met in the middle and started a competition, and neither of them was willing to take a half step back. Li Shu was very shocked. His combat power has reached more than 240 points, which is 60 or 70 points higher than Son Goku. In the confrontation, he can't hold any advantage. What? Li Shu roared and squeezed the power in his body, the beam of light squirmed, and a burst of energy poured into the energy ball, the balance was broken, and the two energy balls began to move towards Son Goku. The white stone brick at Son Goku's feet shattered, and Son Goku himself was pushed back and forth, leaving two long scratches on the ring. What? Son Goku was reluctant to lose the game, desperately blocking, and slowly stopped. It's really scary to fight Bo with the Sun family. Li Shu thought to himself, if he chose not to take Son Goku's move, he might have knocked Son Goku out of the ring long ago. Give me over. Li Shu doesn't believe that he can't compare to Son Goku. He has a system, and he is the real protagonist. Suddenly, Li Shu had a feeling that his own strength seemed to be a little bigger. The scale of victory quickly tilted towards Li Shu, and the two energy balls showed an arc and flew into the distance. Boom! After a brief period of calm, there was a loud noise, and a mushroom cloud was set off in the distance. Whoosh! Li Shu gasped for breath, not much energy left. And Son Goku was already lying on the ground, and the situation was much worse than Li Shu. One, two, three, four, five. This time, without Li Shu's reminder, the host automatically ran to Son Goku and started counting. Goku, stand up. Kling was still cheering for Son Goku. Six, seven, eight, nine. At this time, Son Goku stood up with difficulty, giving Li Shu a new understanding of Son Goku's willpower. If he was Son Goku, he might not be able to stand up. Thump. Son Goku had just stood up and fell again, this time in a coma. After the host counted 10, Son Goku still didn't respond. The final champion is Li Shu. The host announced loudly. Li Shu, you are the best. Bulma was very happy, even happier than she had won the game. Ding dong, the mission is completed, congratulations to the host for getting the normal Saiyan Bloodline plugin. 
The mechanical voice of the system sounded in Li Xu's mind. Li Xu was very excited when he heard the words. Saiyan's bloodline is very unbelievable in the world of Dragon Ball, especially after he can transform into Super Saiyan. In the early stage of Dragon Ball, the combat power of Piccolo and others was not greatly opened up by Son Goku, but after becoming Super Saiyan, the gap between them is like a gulf, and there is no way to catch up. Goku. Kling jumped onto the ring at this time and hugged Son Goku down. Son Goku will turn into a gorilla after seeing the full moon, and now that the moon is out, it's better to bring him to the house quickly, otherwise it will be troublesome. Li Shu reminded. He remembers that in the original book Son Goku turned into a gorilla at this time, and in the end, it was Master Roshi who destroyed the moon and turned Son Goku back. Now Son Goku's basic combat power is 180. If he turns into a gorilla, it will increase to 1800, which is much more troublesome than the original. What? Son Goku and Krillin were both very surprised when they heard the words, and hurriedly carried the unconscious Son Goku to the room. Li Shu, congratulations on winning the championship. Bulma said happily, hugging Li Shu's arm. Are you going to give some reward? Li Shu said with a playful smile. HMPH, I'm ignoring you. Bulma ran away blushing. Bulma in the original book doesn't have this little woman's side. Li Shu smiled, and Bulma with such a side is cuter than the original. Early the next morning, Li Shu went to collect the prize money for the championship, and came to the restaurant with everyone, ready to have a big meal. Li Shu, you are really good, I lost to you in the end. Sun Goku said, and Sun Goku basically recovered in one night. I look forward to fighting you next time. Li Shu smiled. Well, I'll practice hard and fight well next time. Sun Goku said, full of fighting spirit. The food is here, let's eat. Li Shu said, wow, it's so delicious. Sun Goku picked up a chicken leg and ate it, without affecting his appetite at all because of the loss. After eating all the prize money for the championship, Li Shu and Bulma parted with everyone and returned home. During the battle with Sun Goku, Li Shu noticed some changes to the system's panels. Personal Information Panel Name Li Shu Age 19 Combat Strength 251 Law Law of Force 0 1 hundredths Possessed Plugins Primary Automatic Training Plugin can automatically increase combat power by 10 points every day Primary Perception Plugin can learn 1 star moves in seconds Ordinary Saiyan Bloodline Plugin Why is there a new law of power suddenly? Li Shu was a little puzzled the system didn't give him an answer, and he guessed it had something to do with Son Goku's understanding of Bo Shi. System, what's the matter with the daily increase in combat power of the primary automatic training plugin? Li Shu asked. In the past, he could only increase his combat power by one point per day, but now it has become a 10 point increase in combat power. The host gets the normal Saiyan bloodline, and the effect of automatic training will naturally be different. The system explained. The two cheaters can still influence each other. Li Shu was a little surprised, but this was good news for him, and the speed of combat power increased tenfold. Can the law of power be cultivated automatically? Li Shu asked. The function of automatically practicing plug-in, the host can freely adjust. The system said. That is to say, I can let the combat power and the law of strength be automatically cultivated at the same time, but the effect of automatic cultivation will be reduced. Li Shu said. The host understands correctly. How should I distribute it? Li Shu was in a tangle. If he ignores the law of power, his combat power will increase very quickly, but he feels that the law of power is also very important, and even exceeds the combat power. System, evenly distribute the effect of automatic training plug-in to the law of combat power and power. Li Shu thought about it, and decided to take into account both. Baozi Mountain. Where is it? Li Shu held Bulma and flew around in the air, as if looking for something. Li Shu, is there really the universe spaceship you mentioned here? Bulma asked. After searching for a long time, the two still haven't found it. There must be, otherwise how did Sun Goku come to Earth? Li Shu said. Found it. At this moment, Li Shu found a spherical spaceship in a valley and flew down immediately. The spaceship was already dilapidated and was wrapped in a layer of green vegetation, with only a small part of it exposed. It would have been difficult to find it if Li Shu hadn't come to find it deliberately. 
It's shabby enough, Bulma said. Can it be fixed? Li Xu asked. Well, the main part isn't broken yet, it just needs to be refitted, but it will take some time. Bulma checked it a little and said. Time is not a problem, I just need to go out. After you finish the modification, we will go to play in universe. Li Xu said. Hmm. Bulma nodded. In the spaceship, install a gravity training room as I told you before. The larger the gravity multiplier that can be adjusted, the better. Li Xu said. No problem, as long as all the materials are found, it should be no problem to create a 300-fold gravity chamber, but with such a large gravity, will it really not happen? Bulma said with some concern. It'll be fine, and I won't adjust the gravity to the maximum all at once. Li Xu smiled. The gravity training room is a major cheat in the world of Dragon Ball. Son Goku can increase his combat power from more than 400 points to transform into Super Saiyan within a year, which has a lot to do with the gravity training room. Let's go back, I'll let you transport the ship back later, Bulma said. Um, is this Kalanta? Li Shu looked at the Kalen Tower, which could not be seen at the top, and was a little shocked. Such a tall building must not have been built by manpower. Since defeating Sun Goku, Li Shu had a hard time finding an opponent on Earth, and decided to go to Universe to see it, so he asked Bulma to transform the Universe ship. However, the system has released a new task for him, and he needs to complete this task before leaving. Mission Arrive at King Kai Star Mission Reward Intermediate Savvy Plugin Intermediate Savvy Plugin can learn two star moves in seconds. There are two ways for him to reach Zhuangxing now. One is to find all seven Dragon Balls, summon Shenron, and ask Shenron to send him to Zhuangxing. The second is through the gods and let the gods take him to the underworld. There are still four or five months before Dragon Ball recovers. Li Xu didn't want to wait, so he decided to come to Tianshan to practice, and Kalanta also had the fairy beans he wanted. Fairy bean is also a major cheat in the world of Dragon Ball. Whether it is used for training or life saving, the effect is very good. Who are you? Just when Li Shu wanted to climb the Kalen Tower, two people came out, a young man with a child. Li Shu knew these two people. They were the guardian of the Kalen Tower, Beulah, and his son, Wu. Pa. My name is Li Shu, I'm here to challenge Kalanta. Li Shu smiled. Kalanta can't be challenged by anyone, you need to beat me first, Bra said. Hearing this, Li Shu smiled slightly. He knew that Bra was also well-intentioned. If he was not strong enough, he would fall down halfway and die or be injured. However, Li Shu did not fight him, and climbed directly to the top of the Kalen Tower, at an astonishingly fast speed. Seeing Li Shu, who disappeared in an instant, Bra poured out a drop of cold sweat on his forehead, and said, what a monster, maybe he can really climb the Kalen Tower. At this time, Karen Sama on the Kalen Tower was also paying attention to Li Shu. When did such a monster appear in the lower world, this speed is too fast. Karen Sama was very surprised when he saw Li Shu climbing up at a speed beyond his imagination, and cold sweat broke out in his heart. Before Karen Sama could calm down, a wind suddenly blew, and Li Shu's figure appeared on the Karen Tower. Hi, hello. Li Shu greeted with a smile. Hello. Karen Sama smiled bitterly, are you here to snatch the super holy water? With your strength, the super holy water has no effect on you. I know the super holy water is just a pretense, I'm here to practice. Li Shu shook his head. I'm afraid I can't teach you anything, either, Karen Sama said. I still lack a lot of control of my chi. You must have a lot to teach me in this regard. Li Shu said neither humble nor arrogant. Now it has been a month since the 21st world's number. One martial arts conference, and Li Shu's combat power has increased to more than 400 points. Because of the rapid rise, his control of his chi is not as good as before. Your control of chi is indeed a bit rough, but your strength is too strong, you must find a way to suppress it, and I can't teach you. Karen Sama said. It's a trouble, what can you do? Li Shu frowned. Give it to me. At this moment, a voice sounded out of thin air, and then two people appeared in front of Li Shu's eyes, it was Tianshan and Bobo. God, why are you here? Karen Sama asked in surprise. There is an excellent martial Taoist in the lower realm, and naturally he must teach him well. Tianshan said, he wanted to train a powerful martial Taoist, 
and if there is a crisis on the earth in the future, he will also have a little more self-protection. Aren't you surprised to see me? Tian Shen looked at Li Xu and said. When I came to Kalanta, I felt that there were still people above. Li Xu said, not completely telling the truth. Well, I want to help you cultivate, but if the earth encounters any trouble in the future, I hope you can help. God said. It's natural, I'm also an earthling. Li Xu said. Whether it was before or now, he is a man of the earth, and it is his duty to protect the earth, and there are people on the earth that he wants to protect. The god nodded, took out a black dress, and wrapped a layer of white light on his hands, as if he had cast some magic on the dress. This gravity suit can help you suppress your combat power. You should practice with Kaelin first. After you finish learning, come to the temple of heaven. God said. Thank you, Li Shu said. He didn't expect the gods to help him like this, and he also offered to let him go to the temple of gods to practice. After all, he hasn't done anything to contribute to the earth now. Kalin, the next thing is left to you. God said, and then returned to the temple with Bobo. Li Shu put on the gravity suit, which weighed 500 pounds, four times his weight. After putting it on, he felt that it was a little difficult for him to move. You get used to the gravity suit first, and then we start practicing. Karen Sama said, licking his paws. Um. Li Shu began to do some simple exercises. The 500-pound gravity suit was not too troublesome for him, but he just didn't get used to it. It took him half a day to do normal activities. This is a fairy bean. If you eat one, you can stay hungry for 10 days. Karen Sama saw Li Shu's physical exhaustion is not small, so he gave Li Shu a fairy bean. Crack. After Li Shu ate it, he felt a power surge through his body, and he immediately returned to his prime. Karen Sama, can you give me more of these fairy beans? Li Shu asked. There are several jars over there. If you need it, take it. Karen Sama said without caring. The fairy beans were originally used to restore the physical strength of those who challenged Kalanta, but in the past few hundred years, almost no one has ever visited the Kalanta, so they have accumulated so much. Thank you so much, Li Shu said happily. There are three altars of Shondo, and each altar has tens of thousands of them. Li Shu took two altars and left one altar. Two altars were enough for him. We're cultivating now, all you have to do is snatch the water bottle on my crutches, whether it's while I'm asleep or when I'm distracted, as long as you can grab it. But your strength is too strong, you must carry this bell. When you grab the water bottle, the bell cannot ring, otherwise you have to start all over again. After listening, Li Shu nodded, took the bell from Karen Sama and tied it around his waist. Although it is only a small bell, the difficulty has been increased several times, but this way he can learn more things. Karen Sama, let's get started. Call out, jingle bell. As soon as Li Shu moved, he heard the sound of the bell. You have too many extra moves, which will affect your speed in combat and consume more ki, Karen Sama said. Karen Sama has lived for so long, and although his combat power is not very strong, he is a great master in theory. Li Shu listened to Karen Sama's words, made adjustments, and swept towards the water bottle on Karen Sama's crutches again. Although the bell on his body did not ring, his speed was greatly limited because he was too deliberate. Silent as the sky, swift as lightning. Li Shu remembered what Bobo said when he taught Sun Goku in the original book, and seemed to understand a little bit about this sentence. What a high level of perception! Karen Sama exclaimed in his heart. Ten days passed in a flash. Li Shu was grabbing the water bottle on Karen Sama's crutches every day, and on the first day, Li Shu was able to move normally without the bell making a sound. By the fifth day, he was already putting some pressure on Karen Sama and came close to making it several times. On the tenth day, he could grab the water bottle from Karen Sama's crutch with his eyes closed. I am amazed by your progress. I have nothing to teach you. I don't know how far you will grow. Karen Sama exclaimed. In these ten days, Li Shu gave him too much shock, and the shock of the previous hundreds of years was not as many as these ten days. Thank you for your ten days of teaching. Li Shu thanked. In the past 10 days, the primary automatic training plug-in is still running, and the combat power has increased by 50 points. The training he does is all about the control of Qi, and the two do not interfere. 
Now his control of Qi has made a great progress, the same combat power can exert stronger combat power. The news has just come from the gods that you can go to the temple of the gods, Karen Sama said. Goodbye then. Li Shu waved his hand and flew above the Kalen Tower. The Temple of Heaven is suspended above the Kalen Tower. It has a long history. Ordinary people cannot reach the Temple of Heaven without the permission of the God of Heaven. Of course, as long as the combat power reaches a certain level, this restriction has no effect at all. Is this the Temple of Heaven? Seeing it with your own eyes is different from seeing it on the screen. The whole temple has the color of Indian culture, and there are two rows of coconut trees planted in the square in front. You're here, and Bobo will teach you how to practice. God said, a smile appeared on his vicissitudes and wrinkled face. Well, Li Shu nodded. Whether it is theoretical guidance or actual combat power, Bobo is much stronger than Tenjin. In the original work, Bobo easily subdued the little trunks and sun goten who are super saiyan, making people feel that Bobo's strength has become more unfathomable. However, when Karak 2 came to snatch the position of God, Popo was subdued by Karak II's men, and in the great world, Popo was not seen. All this shows that Bobo's strength is not very good, only about 5 or 600 points. Li Shu doesn't know how much power Bobo has, at least now he can't see Bobo's strength. Tenjin left after speaking, and handed Li Shu to Bobo. Your strength is very strong, but the control of Qi is not perfect. Next, Bobo will train you to control Qi. Bobo said expressionlessly. Um, Bobo's training is similar to Karen Sama's, it's all about the control of Qi, but Bobo's teaching is more in depth. Twenty days passed in a blink of an eye. Li Shu has been comprehending the realm of, quiet as the sky, as fast as lightning, that Bobo said. Now he is sitting quietly on the square in front of the Temple of Heaven, with his eyes closed, but any disturbance in the Temple of Heaven is clearly presented in his mind. Qi is really a magical thing. Li Shu opened his eyes with a look of joy on his face. Your progress is too fast, and the usual methods can't teach you. Next, you go to a place with Bobo. Bobo said with a blank expression. Um, following behind Bobo, he went to the depths of the temple. After going around several corridors, it was like walking through a labyrinth. For the first time, Li Shu discovered that there was still such a large space in the temple, and finally Bobo stopped in front of a golden gate. Bobo won't send me into an unused world to study like Sun Goku was taught in the original book. Li Shu thought to himself. Bobo pushed open the golden door and said, this is the spiritual time room. One year inside, only one day has passed outside but the environment is extremely harsh, and we will practice inside for a year. It turned out to be a spiritual time room. Li Shu was a little surprised, but he didn't expect Bobo to bring him to practice in the spiritual time room. The gravity chamber in the spiritual time house is 10 times that of the earth, and the temperature fluctuates between minus 40 and 50 degrees. Such conditions are not suitable for human survival at all. The most important thing is that there is a vast expanse of white inside, and you have to stay there for a year, which is a huge test for people's psychological endurance. You are wearing a gravity suit. The gravity inside is ten times that of the outside. You should take it off first. Bobo said. No. Li Shu smiled slightly. A layer of white light appeared on his hands, and the gravity clothes on his body became ordinary clothes again. You actually learned Lord God's magic. Bobo was a little shocked. At that time, when the gods were performing, they learned it at a glance. Li Shu smiled, this magic is not difficult, it belongs to a one-star move. Then let's start practicing, Bobo said, walking into the spiritual time room. Li Shu also followed into it, and the tenfold gravity inside almost crushed Li Shu to the ground, and it was very difficult to even take a step. Bobo, you have nothing at all, Li Shu said in surprise. Under 10 times the gravity, Bobo is actually the same as outside, which is not something that can be achieved with a few hundred combat power. This gravity has no effect on Bobo, Bobo said. All right, Li Shu no longer struggles with Bobo's strength, and it doesn't have much to do with him anyway. System, assign all the automatic training plugins to the law of power. Li Shu secretly communicated with the system in his heart. Next, he will practice for a year in the spiritual time room to avoid interference. 
It is best to allocate all the automatic training plugins to the understanding of the law of force. Any extra action will affect the display of strength. The better the control of chi, the faster you can condense energy balls. The same energy ball can condense more chi, thus producing greater power. The heart is like still water, don't observe with your eyes. In a blink of an eye, a year has passed. Li Shu accepts Bobo's guidance every day, like a sponge, madly absorbing the knowledge taught by Bobo, and the progress can be said to be very great. Sometimes Li Shu would also play against Bobo, but Li Shu never beat Bobo, which gave Li Shu a new understanding of Bobo's strength. He guessed that Bobo is very powerful, but as a servant of the gods, there are some things he can't intervene, just like Wis, he only serves the gods. A year has passed, Bobo's guidance to you is over, and future cultivation is up to you, Bobo said. Thank you Mr. Popo for his guidance this year, Li Shu said gratefully. It can be said that Bobo's guidance this year has played a very important role in him, laying a good foundation for him in the future. Otherwise, even if he has a high combat power by automatically cultivating plugins in the future, he will not be able to control the chi in his body very well, just like people like Frieza. Personal Information Panel Name Li Shu Age 19 A year spent in mental time is not counted. Combat Strength 12,000 Law Law of Force 1 100 Possessed Plugins Primary automatic training plugin can automatically increase combat power by 10 points every day. Primary perception plugin can learn one star moves in seconds. Ordinary Saiyan bloodline plugin. After a year of practicing the law of strength, he finally reached 1%. He found that if he relied on the law of 1%, he could increase his combat power by 10% without causing any damage to his body. Load. And he also discovered one thing. When his combat power exceeded 10,000, his chi not only increased in quantity but also in quality. He asked Bobo, and Bobo said it was related to the dimension. The dimensions from low to high are planetary level, star level, galaxy level, galaxy level, universe level. There is a higher realm in the back, but Bobo is not very clear about this, and 10,000 combat power is the entry standard of the planetary level. After leaving the spirit time room, the gods were waiting for them outside. In one year, your strength has increased so much. Tianshan said in horror. He could sense Li Shu's strength before, but now he can't see through Li Shu at all. I'm not strong enough now. Li Shu shook his head. His current strength is indeed very strong on earth, but it is still not enough in universe. Aren't you interested in being the god of the earth? The god asked. I'm not suitable to be the god of the earth. I know someone who has a pure heart and good strength. If you want to find a successor, you can consider him. Li Shu shook his head. The position of the gods was not in the slightest attractive to him. You are talking about Sun Goku, he is indeed a very good seedling. Tianshan said, because of Li Shu, he also knew a little more about the people around Li Shu. Well, Li Shu nodded. What's your plan next? Tianshan then asked, there was nothing left to give to Li Shu. Does the gods have the authority to recommend people to practice with the Realm King? Li Shu asked. You actually know Lord Realm King. The gods were a little surprised. I plan to leave the earth and go to the universe, so I know more about things outside the earth. Li Shu found a reason. I can take someone to meet King Yama, but no living person has ever been to the underworld. The god of the sky said with a frown. There is no place on earth that is suitable for me to cultivate, and I have to ask the gods to help me once. It is not impossible for a living person to go to the underworld. Li Shu said. The underworld is actually just a special two-dimensional space. If you are strong enough, you can enter as long as you break the dimensional wall. Okay, but I don't guarantee success. Said the god. Thank you. If this method doesn't work, Li Shu can only honestly search for the dragon ball again and use Shenron's power to be captured by Zhuang, and he must complete the system's mission. Don't resist. The god put his hand on Li Shu's shoulder, Li Shu suddenly felt a force acting on him, and the scene in front of him changed, but in the blink of an eye, Li Shu and the god came to the underworld. Who are you? At this time, a staff member of the underworld came over. I am the god of the earth, and I came to meet King Yama, said the god. How did you bring a living person into the underworld? Don't you know the rules of the underworld? Said the kid. 
I'll explain it to King Yama later, said the god. All right then, I'll report it now, said the kid. After a while, the kid came back and led Li Shu and the gods to the Yama temple. The god of the earth, why are you here? King Yama said, as if he was quite familiar with the god of the earth. We have an excellent martial Taoist on earth, and I would like to recommend him to practice with the realm king. The god of the sky explained his purpose. Generally, living people are not allowed to come to the underworld. Today, let's make an exception, but if you want to see Lord Realm, you must go through the snake path. King Yama said. From the conversation between the two, Li Shu heard that the two really seemed to have some friendship. Thank you Lord Yama, said the god. I'll let someone take him to the snake road now. King Yama said, gesturing at a kid next to him. After the kid understood, he took Li Shu away. You Earth has an amazing guy this time. After Li Shu left, King Yama said to the gods. It's true that there hasn't been an excellent martial artist on earth for a long time. Tianshan said with a smile. Li Shu followed the kid to the snake road. This is the snake road, I can only send you here. The kid said. Thank you. Li Shu thanked him and flew directly to the other end of the snake road. Although the snake path is very long, it is nothing to the current Li Shu. After cultivating in the spiritual time house for a year, his current combat power has reached 12,000 points. After cultivating, it will be much higher. After flying for about an hour, Li Shu came to the end of the snake path, saw the pocket King Kai star, jumped up, and landed on it. The gravity of King Kai is also ten times that of the earth. Li Shu, who has been in the spiritual time house for a year, has already adapted to ten times the gravity. Is this the Zhuang planet? I really don't know how King Kai lived on such a planet for so long. Li Shu secretly said. If he is allowed to live on such a planet all the time, it is estimated that it will not be long before he will be suffocated. Ding dong. The mission is completed, congratulations to the host for obtaining the intermediate level perception hack. The mechanical voice of the system sounded in Li Shu's mind, and the original primary perception hack was replaced by the intermediate perception hack. Li Shu found that his comprehension took a new level. Ow, ow. At this moment, an orangutan jumped towards Li Shu, it was King Kai's pet Babris. Is Lord Realm here? Li Shu shouted loudly. I haven't had a guest from King Kai for a long time. King Kai walked out of the house, followed by a small grasshopper. Lord Zhuang, I came from Earth and want to practice with you. Li Shu said politely. It's not impossible for me to teach you cultivation, but you have to make me laugh first. King Kai said solemnly. When Li Shu heard King Kai's words, the corners of his mouth twitched. Fortunately, he was a little prepared. Once upon a time there was a steamed bun, he ate a meatball, and it turned into a steamed bun. Puff. After King Kai heard it, he immediately wanted to laugh. After realizing this, he immediately covered his mouth to prevent himself from laughing. Once upon a time there was a man who looked like an onion and cried when he walked. Seeing King Kai wanting to laugh but forcibly holding back, Li Shu thought it was funny. Once upon a time, an egg went to a tea house to drink tea, and it turned into a tea egg. Once upon a time, ha ha, after Li Shu told seven or eight jokes with extremely low laughs, King Kai finally couldn't help laughing, hugging his stomach and rolling on the ground. You are so amazing. Li Shu looked at King Kai speechlessly, guessing that King Kai had lived in King Kai for a long time and he was bored to the extreme, otherwise he wouldn't have such a low laugh. Lord Realm King, can you teach me to practice now? It is good. I have two powerful tricks. If you want me to teach you, you must pass my test first. King Kai said solemnly. What test? Li Shu knew that King Kai was talking about Kaioken and Spirit Bomb. Grab Bobla's and hit Gregly with the hammer, King Kai said. This shouldn't be difficult for me, right? Li Shu was a little surprised, he was not the Sun Goku in the original book, he had already applied 10 times the gravity. So it's going to be a little more difficult for you. King Kai smiled sinisterly, cast a magic spell, and put a big iron ring on Li Shu's hands and feet. At the moment of putting on the iron ring, Li Shu was directly crushed to the ground. Each hoop weighs 200 jins, adding up to 800 jins. Under 10 times the gravity, it is equivalent to Li Shu carrying 8,000 jins on his back. 
As long as you complete the two things I said with an iron ring, I will teach you two of my unique tricks. King Kai smiled proudly. I will do it, Li Shu said confidently, standing up with difficulty. It happened to be regarded as a practice, since Li Shu knew the effect of the law of force, Li Shu allocated all the automatic practice plugins to the law of force. The law of 1% power can increase the combat power by 10%, and there is no load on the body. This effect is very unbelievable. The effect may not be obvious now, but with the improvement of combat power, the benefits of the law of power will become larger and larger, which is far more cost effective than adding 10 points of combat power every day. Let's start then, King Kai said. Ow, oh. Babris jumped around in front of Li Shu, as if mocking Li Shu. I'll play with you. Li Shu stepped forward with difficulty and chased towards Babris, but the speed of the two was not at the same level at all, and Babris would turn his head and taunt Li Shu from time to time. Li Shu didn't get discouraged at all, he got up again after falling down. As long as he got used to the gravity, it would not be difficult for him to catch up with Babris. What a good seedling. King Kai watched from the side and sighed inwardly. Although he looks unreliable, he is still very reliable at critical times. He arranged two tests for Li Shu, one to test Li Shu's aptitude, and the other to observe Li Shu's Xinxing. In a blink of an eye, three months have passed. In the first month, Li Shu got used to the weight of the iron ring, grabbed Babris, beat him well, and avenged the previous arrow. In the second month, Li Shu beat Gurgli with a sledgehammer, and made Gurgli hide away when he saw Li Shu. After that, King Kai taught Li Shu his two unique tricks, Kaioken and Spirit Bomb. Kaioken Li Shu learned it after watching it once, but Spirit Bomb Li Shu couldn't learn anything, because Spirit Bomb has a requirement that he must be pure of heart. Li Shu can't have the pure heart like Sun Goku, so even if he has an intermediate savvy plug-in, he still can't learn Spirit Bomb. Just like the original Kamehameha wave, you must have enough energy in your body to be able to exert it. Li Shu was not disappointed either, Spirit Bomb has too many restrictions and is not very suitable for use in combat. After learning Kaioken, Li Shu did not leave immediately, but continued to stay at King Kai Star for a month, absorbing King Kai's martial arts experience. Lord King Kai, it's time for me to go back. Li Shu said, saying that until now, King Kai has nothing to teach Li Shu. Well, your qualifications are very good, I hope you can go further. King Kai said solemnly. Lord Zhuang, I plan to go to universe next time, can you tell me the location of some planets in universe? Li Shu suddenly remembered. I'm only in charge of Northern Galaxy, and I can tell you the location of Northern Galaxy planets, but you should pay attention to one person in the universe and don't mess with him. King Kai warned. Who is it? Li Shu asked. Frozen demon Frieza. King Kai said, when mentioning Frieza, King Kai's body trembled unconsciously, obviously having a certain psychological shadow on Frieza. I remember. Li Shu nodded. He knows Frieza's strength. He will definitely not go to Frieza now, but it will not be certain in the future. Frieza is destined to be a stepping stone on his growth path. After getting the planet distribution map of the Northern Galaxy, Li Shu left King Kai. This time, Li Shu took half an hour to cross the Snake Path and came to the Yama Temple. Why did you come back so soon? King Yama asked in surprise. He knew that Li Shu was being trained by King Kai. He originally thought that Li Shu would stay on King Kai for at least a few years. Everything I want to learn has been learned, and I will come back naturally. Li Shu said. I will notify the gods of the earth to pick you up now. King Yama said, and did not continue to ask. After a while, the gods came. It seems that you have gained a lot this time. Tian Shen said, feeling that Li Shu was even more unfathomable. It's really not a small gain. Li Shu said with a smile. Let's go. Tianshan took Li Shu back to Tianshan Temple. God, I'll go back first, and I may not be on earth for a while. If you have something to do, you can ask King Kai to contact me. Li Shu said. Um. After Li Shu left the Temple of Heaven, he flew directly to his home. He didn't expect that this trip would take the first half of the year, so Bulma must be very worried. Bulma. When Li Shu returned home, he saw Bulma sitting in the yard in a daze. Li Shu, you're finally back. Bulma was very happy when she saw Li Shu, 
and threw herself into Li Xu's arms, then burst into tears. Sorry for worrying you, Li Xu said apologetically. Where have you been during this time? If you don't come back, I plan to find Dragon Ball and call you back, Bulma said. I went to a place to practice, but I didn't expect to practice for so long. Li Xu said. You must take me wherever you go in the future, Bulma said pitifully. Okay, I'll take you with me in the future. Li Xu solemnly promised. Well, the two hadn't seen each other for a long time, and began to linger. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.